What's good, Brian? Welcome, everyone. Sup, Julian? What's good? I already know people are going to ask what is my playlist, so I'm going to get a command in my chat working for that right now because this is a different playlist than I normally have been playing. So let's uh, let's do that really quick. I'll just have to set up several commands, which reminds me I need to update all my commands on Stream Deck anyway. Hey. What's good, Pierre? <laughs> What's up, Kevin? <laughs> As I said. <laughs> Alright, let's update all this really quick. This one. That one. I keep forgetting this one specific part. I have to update all of these things every time I go live. But I'm getting better at this, I will say. And let me make a playlist for you guys. Or a playlist link. Because I have one, I keep track of this on my YouTube. At least everything that I could link. Like some of them are like not linkable because they're on SoundCloud instead of on YouTube. What do you need to do to get some matches with me? Well, that's easy. What I'll do for now my focus is quick play tonight, but if you subscribe before I start playing on quick play, I'll play you in a best of five. And in fact, I might just do that whenever I have downtime like this. Just to make sure I'm not missing anybody that wants to play me. Because I do want to make sure I play everybody that wants to play. So it's this one. There's the link. Pretty sure I have a playlist command. And this will be Will's stream playlist. But that link is kind of massive, so let me see if I can shrink that first. Should work. Okay, let's try this. Uh, no thanks, Max. <laughs> I'd rather you subscribe based on my gameplay or my other ability to be entertaining. <laughs> and it's not the first time someone has asked that. Maybe I'm just self-conscious. But I don't think that is my skill set necessarily. think I have a command on the YouTube ones so let's try it let's see if that works I have no idea if that worked I guess we'll find out in a second sub Harrison 
Hey, there was an error adding the command. Yeah, the command name already exists. Oh, okay, perfect. So let's just edit it then. Give that a second to work. And then we'll make some commands here, right? Yeah. Nice. And I want to test it over here too, because when I do it in one YouTube chat, it actually should work for the other one as well, which is kind of nice. I'll need to add the command once. So if somebody asks, does the command work? Let's see, yeah. There it is. Also, does the link work? Yes, indeed. Perfect. All right, success. Now let me just make these buttons on my stream deck and then we're really good. Let me move this one to the next page. So now we can put three playlist buttons here. Thank you, Mitch. Appreciate that. Yeah, we had a, a pretty fun birthday stream. We got a sub battles in versus everybody last night. I was going to try to do a part two birthday stream, but I was not able to go live before midnight, so it felt like cheating. So. But it was it was a good one. It was a good one, I have to say. Okay, what was I doing? Yeah, the buttons, the buttons, the stream deck buttons. Okay. Let's do this. And then just make this playlist and exclamation point playlist. Optimizing the stream every night, everyone. Advice on the DK Mario matchup. Well, let's check monkey.gg, will we? Hey, look, we have a command for that. Let's see if it's up to date, because this actually is, thanks to Seth, always being updated in terms of if the percents are slightly off, I'll have him adjust something or for the PDK percents, or if the neutral some there's new developments and there's always new developments in the neutral because people are do not st stagnate they're always improving and adjusting their gameplay so things might change based on the, the optimal level of how characters are played okay so this is good this is good and that is good Sweet. Yeah, uh, check it out. I have a command for it too. Oh yeah, I already did it. Yeah. And then for people in my Twitch chat, you guys already know. But Right, so Mario. Defensive zoning. What does that mean? This, it means a lot of things. In the context of Mario, it means stay grounded. Stay- oh, F-tilt. Ooh, we, we found a really good player right away. Let's- I have to step it up, because this Sheik is actually really, really, really good. My stick is greasy already. Didn't even start playing. I think I lost to this player the last time I played them. That was really buffered. I don't know what's going on.
Wow. I tried to do ledge drop jump up air and his down tilt scooped me. Wow, I didn't even know she could do that. No fucking way I died that early, dude. All because of a misinput B reverse down B, that's crazy. I can't do it. I can't wave bounce on this connection. I'm trying. Kind of an important input to hit. Missed it twice now, and it's cost me like a lot. Ah, that sucks. Yeah, this Sheik is really good. I lost to them the last time I played them. Unfortunately, I cannot wave bounce, and that's like a gimmick mix-up that's kind of necessary versus Sheik, so I'm gonna keep trying it to try to like warm up into the input, but if I can't do it, I'm not gonna be able to like hit her with a down B. Not a single time. So what's going to happen with the shorts guys is I'm going to post them and I have a backlog of shorts. I have all crazy content like lined up like a week or two's worth. So I'm not going to post stuff from the night before. I'm going to post them in the order of when they happen. But I, the problem is I have a backlog of about two weeks. So you might just have to wait a little bit to see the clips from the streams that you just watched. But that's kind of just how it works for content in general, right? Like. See, that's what I need to be able to do. And they are supposed to trade with that, but I guess not. I'm 
I'm not careful, he's gonna kill me at an early percent here. I really almost has to eat again. Bro, he's so good, dude. I can't move once he hits me. I actually don't know what to do. I was up a whole stock and it didn't matter fucking crazy. I don't know if he'll stick around, because he only played two games last time and he left. Fucking Sheik is fucking nasty. He's the only good Sheik I've ever played against. I'm not exactly sure what to do. <laughs> so, this is- I'm- my first matches, we're going right into a challenge. I have to do something clever. I think it's supposed to be platform camping and playing it slower. But when I'm in disadvantage, I can't move. Looks like he's willing to camp needles, which is gonna make it a little bit easier to deal with. It's when he's playing aggressive that it's really fucking hard. Like, I was unaware. Okay, I can mix up like that. It's like learning how to DI stuff is what's really important right now. I don't know how to hit the down air on that, or if it's even possible. I've never done it before. This is not a lead. Not until I'm up by two stocks. Still my jump. Wow, she's so shrimpy, it doesn't even fucking hit her. Right now the goal is to make trades. Why is it buffering ledge jump? I'm not even pressing anything on my controller. Wow. This is why I start getting up aired infinitely for some reason.
Okay. I know he was trying to spike me, but... I'll take that, I guess. I guess I was playing neutral a little slower, and that made it so that like I wasn't forcing a neutral opening, which allowed me to make trades on my terms. And that's how you have to fight Sheik. No fucking way that didn't actually come out. I pressed it to come out. So crazy, like, he's getting inside my forward smash before I can release it on reaction to his nair. But, like, I can react to the nair, though. Nope, I gotta slow it down here, he wants me to approach. Her buttons are, like, way, way too good on shield for me to approach. It's too hard to hit her there. There is good. This map. I did tech roll right. I really have to be clean with my inputs, otherwise I die versus she. She's dead. Can't get the B reverse. So hard. Finally. First time I fucking hit that. Let's go. Remember how I said I was looking for a challenge? The last time I played against the Sheik, they 2 0 would me and then left. Or they beat me a lot and then left. I don't remember. They also showed up in my chat. So, Nathaniel. This is, this is the Sheik that plays competitively. They were like very high ranked on Smash Bros from what I remember. Maybe even the top level Sheik on Matchbox. So I know that they're good. to turn around with that. There's so many buttons. Yeah. 
Don't ever do that again, Sheik. She's too fast. That's what I tried to do the first time. I guess I wasn't spaced well enough the first time. <sighs> Alright. We technically won the set 3-2, but I'm definitely down to stick around because this is like the rarest character on Quick Play. <clears throat> In terms of finding a good one. Did I SDI to escape the combo? Um... How is Sheik usually approaching DK? She's just whiff punishing me. So I have to retreat and outspace her. And make trades. The whole matchup is making trades. I have to mix up my DI on their combo strings, too. He's too fucking short to hit with a lot of moves, which is really frustrating. Nice tag. That's really good against her. She's so good at like killing you if you're near the ledge at early percents, so you have to like really be careful. Wow. Yeah, I'm done. See, just like that. Fuck, I meant to up tilt. Now I'm gonna take a lot of damage. Wait. Yeah, she's gotta not chase me on those platforms. If I'm at ledge, I'm dying every time, but if they chase me onto a platform, they're dying, because I'm down airing them every time for it. See, I can prove I'm good at this fucking matchup if you don't leave after two games. Sorry, I haven't really been answering or looking at the chat at all. Like, playing against this player requires all of my focus. See? See how I, I told you they abruptly left last time? I didn't get a chance to prove myself or to adapt, so I feel like I actually adapted this time. Holy shit, that was hard. I figured that they would leave. They did it last time. Well, if they want to play more, they can always come into my chat. I can open an arena. Maybe they don't want to lose GSP. <laughs> now I'm fighting a Sonic. Another really hard matchup. <laughs> this is crazy. You guys are getting precisely the content that's in the title tonight.
<laughs> got him again. Oh god. Oh, that move kills across the stage. My DI was not good. They delayed the spin dash though. I destroyed that Sonic. <laughs> I should grab after homing attack. Uh, it depends on how close I am to him. It has a lot of lag, but like, there's so much mix on homing attack. They they can bounce in so many different ways that like, honestly, can I even do it? Like, I have to dodge it first. I have to make them like slam into the ground first. I think. If they bounce off my shield, of course, I don't even think I can punish it. I don't even think it's worth trying. That's there's just a lot of things I don't know about Sonic. Okay. This Sonic is having a hard time recovering against me, I noticed. Trying to do down beasts. Yeah, I was too close actually to do that. That sucks. All right, well, this is hard for him. <laughs> it's supposed to be a hard matchup, but I think I'm just getting away with some stuff. He had the same mix-up timing with his spin dash every time. Do I do sub battles every other night? Um, I don't know. I do sub battles when I f whenever I feel like it, and I'll let you guys know in the stream title. Tonight we're playing quick play though. So far this week, I did sub battles two nights in a row to make sure I got everybody that wanted to play me. And then we did quick play, and then I did sub battles last night for my birthday stream. And now we're back on quick play, and as you can see, you can you can find some some interesting players. Whew. Oh, thank you, thank you. Thank you for the late birthday wishes. Appreciate it. Is Kazuya hard to pick up? Um, I don't actually couldn't answer that for you. Just get good at doing the electric, and then you're you're good after that. You're good with Kazuya. The rest of it, I don't think is that difficult. Wait, John Numbers' birthday is the same as mine too, dude. There's so many smash. That's that's that can't be right. That's so interesting. Oh, shit. Hold on, this Me Too is moving. No way that didn't break its shield. That's crazy.
Super chat still not available. I'm like 100 watch hours away, public watch hours away. So if you guys want to help me out, I can either post more long form YouTube videos, which I just currently am focusing on streaming, so I haven't had a chance to do that. Or I guess it'll just naturally get there on its own pretty soon. But that's what's gonna get me, is the long form videos. Remember how I said this was probably DK's best matchup? Here's the proof. I can't believe I fought such a hard opponent right away on quick play. It was like, no warm up time. You better turn the fuck up right now, Will. I have to like destroy my controller to get wave bounces to work on quick play though. Nice. That was a combo. Dude, Me Too is cooked in this matchup. This might put him out of percent. No, he's he's in percent. He gave me the biggest opportunity in the world to grab, but I've never seen a dash attack from Mewtwo on my shield before, so I couldn't react to it. The purple animation doesn't come out if he doesn't hit you, which is strange to me. Or maybe it did and DK is so big I didn't see it. I'll take that. Hey, Perry Yoshi, thank you for the raid, party of six. Welcome to the stream. You're dead. You're so dead. It's not even close. At 57, partially charged F Smash on Smashville as Mewtwo, you're so dead. Yeah, great matchup for DK. Excellent matchup. Play DK into Mewtwo all day. Do it. Pick up DK from Mewtwo if you're struggling. That's how good it is. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Jackson. Whew. Seeing Sonic get Giant Punch is so satisfying. I'm glad I was able to bring that to fruition for you. Is my win rate? I don't know, I could check it. It's There are stats in this game, I can check my quick play win rate. It's probably very high. Oh, we found the same player, all right. 67 to 73. I deserve to die there. I was trying something sneaky. I just not exactly sure what to do on me too out of sticky wall because I've honestly never gone for it on him. Because there's only like two Mewtwo's on Quick Play. Oops. But 
The percent's too high. I shouldn't have pummeled. Nice. Oh. Okay. That was good. 67 to 70. There's actually a tiny window on this stage. This is probably their neutral pick. Oh, you're dead. Oh, wait. <laughs> you're, de you're dead accidentally. <laughs> enough training against Palutena to be able to hit those. Look at that. Look at that back air against me too. Insane. You're very smart. You might have died. Please check it. I don't know exactly how. Do you guys know how to check it? It's like in trophies or something, or vault, something. I can check. I just played that person, so. You've tried Sticky Walk ver versus Mewtwo? You can catch them sleeping with up B, but if they know, they mash up B straight to ledge. DK hitbox is frame 14 with up B? Oh, I see, I see. Did you mean frame four? Vault records? All right, I'll check it real quick. Just to see, I'm curious. I've never looked at it, so it's gotta be up there. <laughs> Vault records, so uh, is it stats or battle data? I guess I should look at stats for my tag or I don't know. I actually don't know. Online battles fought. I have no idea where to find this. Let's just look at him. <coughs> Sorry about the loud cough. Battles fought, offline battles fought, stock battles, battles, battles. I don't, I don't know where to find this. Smash playtime. Spirits. Games and more. I actually have no idea what I'm looking for. Do you guys know what the stat is called? You talking about my win percentage? Solo quick play wins? What does that mean? Battle data? I have no idea what any of this stuff is. Oh, elite quick play wins. Here we go. Elite quick play battles, elite quick play wins. There's the percentage. It's not 90%. Definitely not 90%. 85.06 out of this is like not this is not just with dk this is with all of my characters which means i you know with all of my characters it's a 76 percent win rate with just donkey kong can i look at the other one for that because that's the one that matters now you can see how much i play dk compared to other characters it's, it's as if you guys didn't already know. There are the stats. Uh, I guess I play Bowser more than Cloud on my Switch. Uh, I don't know really what I'm looking for here, though. Battles. Win rate. Last 50. What does this mean? 
strong finish rate. I don't know what any of this stuff means. Uh, again, what stat am I looking for? And I'll, I'll find it for you. Play percent, 82% with DK. Battles won and lost. Can I... How do you go character specific? I just click on him. Oh, here we go. Wow, this game keeps a lot of stats. Click on DDK and then scroll down to Battles Won and Lost. Win rate in my last 10 matches is 90%. The win rate in my last 50 matches is 72%, I guess. I don't know what strong finish rate means. Strong finishes? That's a victory? Uh, victories smash mode uh, that's different than all online isn't it there's so many fucking stats here I don't know what any of them mean victories smash mode is that what the, what is smash mode is that what I'm playing in I guess okay so it's seven five eight eight over nine three eight one is that what I'm looking at 7588 over 9381. I have an 80.88%. We'll say it's an 81, if you approximate, an 81% win rate with Donkey Kong on Quick Play. Or just overall, I don't know. I think it's online and offline. It's because I've brought my Switch to different places and like played people offline. I don't know how you calculate just the online by itself. You know? I'm not sure if that's recorded that way here. It looks like it's just talking about battles overall. Also, this is just saying Donkey Kong. Like, what if other people play Donkey Kong on my Switch? Which is rare. Shouldn't I look at tag? Can you go by tag? How do you go by tag? See how the number changes? So there could be a thousand more battles people use DK without my tag. So I really should be looking at the stats for my tag. Okay, so now things are going to change here a little bit. So now it's 7190 out of 8905. That's the real stat. 7190 out of 8905. It's actually a lower percent somehow. It's 80.74, which is still 81%. I guess it doesn't even make, it's like negligible, the difference. You need the Miss Saiyan DK stats? I don't, <laughs> that's okay. I don't think, <laughs> I don't know if she's played DK on my Switch before. So, all right, let's go back to playing. There's too many numbers there. That's honestly very confusing. I'm sure there is an easier way for me to find what I was looking for, but I guess we, we found it. Sort of. So what is my win rate? If anybody ever asks, it's like, it's 81%. Yo, not max, 100, coming through with the prime sub. Thank you for that. Alright, another tough matchup. Let's see what we learned. player is really good, I can tell right away.
why did she get to just use that move so freely? Punishes everything that I do. give myself more time to react to stuff. Yes. Thank you, Matrix. Fuck. Thank you for teaching me. to never be able to edge guard that character. The answer is just neutral air. It's, I see other DKs do different things. You just have to neutral air and that's it. I need to react to things hitting my shield. I just don't expect people to do unsafe things right into my shield. Now I'm expecting it, because they did it once. I guess that's how adaptation works. I pulled DK's hands away to avoid the explosive flame, and then they ran in afterwards and ran into the fingertips. That was godlike. I wish the song wasn't either too loud or too quiet, but I guess it's gonna have to go with too loud right now. It's okay. It's a good. It's a good song. So far, we've been conquering matchups that I usually really struggle in, so I'm happy about it. At high levels, how many steps ahead does a player need to be to have to win an interaction? As DK, you need to be three steps ahead. Or at least two steps ahead. With any other character, just one step is enough. I didn't change my all. Fuck, I forgot. Sorry. I'll do it next time. I can't remember in the middle of a high octane match. I'll switch it after. Something tells me we might be prepared for this one. <laughs>
Nice timing. It's always nice to get those. <laughs> yeah, it worked even though I didn't have to dash. It worked because DK is big and they you can DI the down air to avoid that and force the DK to dash to survive that. But I just went for it, just expecting them not. Expecting them not to DI it and it worked out. Some adaptations here. They're playing a very, very passive neutral. They're like, I'm not approaching you, which is smart, but I'm still getting in. I'm like picking my spots. And just mixing up proper, I guess. Oh, that was good. Oh, they didn't follow my DI though. Somehow my grounded up B is just getting grabbed even though the hitboxes are active. Like I know he's gonna grab and he's still getting it even though I'm doing like preemptive hitboxes. It doesn't make sense. I guess grounded up B is no good. So I'll stop using it. Very, very, very good at getting grabs. A very I'll play him again it's a good DK but they played it very 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 slow uh, I'm gonna put a cooldown on that I just drank water what are you talking about you can't just make me keep drinking water it's not how this works I don't know how to put a cooldown on it but apparently I need to chill
What the fuck? Who does that? I didn't even get hit first. That was the first time I got hit. I had no idea that would counterplay what I did there. But I guess I know now. It's the weirdest DK ever. Why are my uppies not working? I'm like, it's the correct option. <laughs> it's a multi hit, it's supposed to beat that. just playing so fucking passive. That's not what I wanted. I'm dead. I didn't even press that. Yeah, not this time. Yes, I do stream on Twitch. Like, I was zero to deathing him, and then I got forward aired at zero percent. <sighs> and then the rest of the match was really close after that. That was a good DK though. Um, I'm gonna be right back, guys. I'm just gonna make some more tea. And I will switch my skin. I'll just do it now so I don't forget. Also, I have a theory. I have a theory that uh, the reason my win rate isn't higher with DK than it seemingly should be is because I lose a lot before I learn the matchups. 
Like, there are matchups I straight up don't know and I'll just get slapped because it's just bad. Whereas if I played a top tier or if I was someone that made the top tier, top tier for the whole six years that Ultimate has been out, I could just do my normal flowchart and beat the said character that gives DK a hard time, if that makes sense. So it's kind of because I play DK that my win rate's not higher. But it's also because of DK that my win rate is high to begin with. But I have to learn the matchups first. I still can't get over the fact that I had to try so hard the first set that I played tonight. I was getting grabbed a lot because I was in the corner. It was as simple as that. And I was not getting out of the corner. And DK doesn't have very many safe things to do to avoid that gra said grab. And I think I was staying grounded because I was getting back aired a lot in the corner. So I, he was conditioning me well. He was do, hitting me with a lot of back airs. And then I was like, well, I should probably get up and shield if he's going to press back air. And then he would just grab me when I did a normal get up from ledge. So I was getting caught in the mix. Have any tips to dodge more grabs and hit more grabs? Oh, you. Oh, okay. Sorry. I didn't see that you're you guys were having a conversation there. Hmm. It's gonna hurt. Yep, I died from that. Wow. All right, let's try not to get up air, up air, up air. Raptor boost, four up airs into knee again. How is he dodging that? Yeah, I deserve that. I always try to do something fancy, and they're like, Oh, he's farther off stage. Let me do the thing I was going to do anyway. Pretty laggy. Well, it's not that bad, but it's lagging a little bit. Are you fucking kidding me?
Okay. I somehow survived that knee. Holy shit. My DK gameplay makes you want to pick up DK? That's... That's what we aim for. Not even sure how good my DI was on that knee. I guess I just was a high enough percent. Alright, dip. They didn't want to stick around. Oh, I have screw attack. <laughs> it's like so broken with DK. Okay. Probably be more broken with someone that has multiple jumps. One shot. That means I have one shot to win. They're going to one and done me. Man, it's like raining out. It's like really raining or windy or something. It sounds crazy out there. Oh my god, amazing. And the perfect stage for it. down here. Yeah, I deserve that. I should have just giant punched. I don't know the, the correct way to interact with that every time. Giant punch is best. But down air works, but not from that position. Man, this is a very interesting bike player. Is this just how the character plays? He's just swinging at nothing the whole time. Until eventually one of them hits you. And then you get a Beachies. Like, what an amazing character. Maybe I should play this character. attack and now this goes from a three stock to me losing. Amazing. Uh, character is stupid. Fuck out of here. Jesus fucking Christ, how did I almost lose that? I got <laughs> I got cheese twice. I parried one there. Let's see if they one end on me. GG's from earlier. Yo. GG. Alright. I'm thinking maybe. See, I knew they were going to one end on. One shot. You get one shot to win. One shot to see how gimmicky they're going to be with their up B. They actually could have lost because when they hit that nair, it should have confirmed into an up B, but they didn't go for it. Like, like, how did I almost lose that against someone who's literally not fighting me actively the whole time? And then I get cheese twice. We can stop talking about it because I won. <laughs> thank you, thank you for the the late birthday wishes. DK's worst matchup. 
Uh, either Sonic or Duck Hunt. I need to normalize this playlist because everything is too loud or too too soft. It seems. Ooh, she's light. Sora again. Uh, you might be right, actually. I always forget because Sora is so niche. Sora is really, really bad. It could not so secretly be Sora. Hmm, I wasn't close enough with that dash attack. Or that one. Don't use that move against Peach. Wow, I died because I didn't... Oh, I might not have been able to wall jump tech. God damn, this character is annoying to get hit by. It only did 55, though. Not that bad. Didn't react to her hitting my shield. It was a double hit, too. I'm bad at that online, it seems. Again, miss spacing. Wow, I DI'd in. This character is very hard to fight for me online, particularly. I don't know why. Take 55, whatever it is. 66 to 73. I think I need to slow this matchup down. This is another one where, like, if I get close to her and fuck up the wrong way, I get destroyed. And you just need to slow it down. Why? Why is my dash tag not hitting? Could have killed her there. She's fine. Fuck. I completely stole that one. I dropped a kill there. You can't ledge drop up air up B Peach at early percent. Um, you can. I don't. Is she crowding the ledge that much though? I have to pay attention to it. Why is everybody one and dunning me today? What's going on? Shulk is a is a mystery to me. I don't ever know what's going on with Shulk. I had a really tough session versus a Shulk on Quick Play a while back, and you just have to not get hit. <laughs> wow, I lost to DK? No, they didn't lose to DK, they lost to me.
Anya. This is like the Bayo who wouldn't afterburner kick until just now, finally. She died? That's crazy. Playing Bayo versus playing neutral versus Bayo is doing nothing. If you do anything other than nothing, you're gonna get punished. Nice. I might die. That's so hard to hit on her online. I realize how good that is actually against fast fallers because even if they bounce high, you get the anti air hitbox if you're close enough with that punch. It hits high, dude. It hits very high. Playing against Bayo as DK, you have to do nothing in neutral. You'll never forgive Bayo for ruining Smash 4. She's a big part of the reason the game gets so much undeserved hate. I'll be honest, it's the reason I never looked back once this game came out. I never went back to Smash 4 because of Bayo existed. She honestly ruined the game. I think many competitors feel that way, unless if they mained Bayonetta, then they, they, they miss the glory days. could die. I should have just stayed the center. You have to be so fast, otherwise she can bat. That's within on that. not doing the one move that makes her like win this matchup, which is Afterburner Kick. I'm not sure why. They're literally doing anything but that in neutral. I agree with you. I agree with you, Matthew. I wholeheartedly agree. I've gotten a lot better at that matchup, but also I don't understand why they didn't use the move. <laughs> Holy shit, you got all three? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the reason I missed the first one, I think because you were too deep in the percent on the window. So like, I have to, it's easier for you to air dodge it, but those last three I did there, you were at early percents. So I know that I can execute it by doing quick jump, double jump up air, like 
I can swing the up air immediately, whereas at the end of my windows, when you're at higher percents, I have to like delay the up air a bit. Oh, oh, you got nervous? Damn. Dang. Oh, TTs. I should have noticed it was you. I'm not going to say that matchup is one dimensional, but it does feel like if she doesn't hit me with afterburner kick, it's really easy to like stay alive. Because that's usually how I die. You miss Jank? Oh, there's Jank. Trust me, there's Jank in this game. Just not nearly as much as in Smash 4. Do I have a favorite potential newcomer for Smash 6? Ooh, that's a good question. Um... Hmm. Who could be a newcomer? Is there a new, any new characters or like ones that we forgot about? It's a pretty good edge card. Damn, I was feeling it that game. Holy shit. That was crazy. That was for the last Falcon that, like, I played, I guess. Just wondering if there's any new cat or there have been any new games. I guess that's not really how it works. They put older game characters in the game, right? should do drop nair against falcon it doesn't work Thank you, Steinway. Thank you, thank you. Appreciate that, man. And uh, appreciate everyone for for uh, for watching over on Twitch tonight. 
seems like we're our Twitch stream is popping off right now. The YouTube Shorts seems to be fluctuating heavily tonight. We did peak at 308 at one point, but then I think I did something wrong at around that time, which was I looked at the stats and I wasn't playing for about five minutes, and that seemed to have killed viewership on YouTube Shorts, but maybe it will fluctuate back up again. How do I deal with opponents who approach by jumping in front of your face? Um, yeah, YouTube Shorts algorithm, dude. Uh, back air. Explosive back air. If they jump, like, at you... I use attack cancel back air to call out people aggressively jumping at me, personally. Oh, this is the Sonic I fought before. But now they're playing Terry. I wish DK could SDI behind on that. Other characters can do it. I did it! That's the first time I've ever done it in my life. Oh, I almost made it. <laughs> if I hug the wall a little bit, maybe. my guy. Right, auto turnarounds. I always forget. I don't fight Terry enough to know that y'all he also has auto turnarounds. What is your least this is a question I can ask you guys. What is your least favorite mechanic in Smash Ultimate? Auto turnarounds gotta be up there for a lot of people. It's pretty bad for me. Uh, mashing is probably the number one, actually. The mashing implementation in this game is terrible. Agree? What do you guys think? Mashing, auto turnaround, buff, buffer, built-in delay. <laughs> There's a lot of things to not like, unfortunately. Spot dodge canceling. So... All of the Sm Smash 4 players, all the Smash 4 vets, right? When we first started playing the game, the number one thing we did accidentally was this. Like, because it's not because we don't know how directional air dodges work. Sure, they reintroduced the mechanic. It's because of the buffering. <laughs> that, like, forces you. Oh, oh, look who it is. And I know this matchup now. Sort of. I should know what to do. Although that was a new mix up. Seventy eight to eighty five. I'm gonna be so prepared. KC, where are you? 
Casey, tell me you're watching. He dodged the fucking grab. It was supposed to be true. Achilles, by the way, is the one who uh, turned me on to be being able to play on more stages like this. So, shout out to Achilles. Giant punch, I fucked up. I feel very prepared, Casey. Thank you. Thank you for preparing me. Also, what's up, Achilles? I know you're probably tuning in right now. I recently did a like a two to three hour grind session in this matchup to like really like figure out some nitty gritty strategies of what I should be doing. Mostly neutral. I feel like I was really bad at neutral before my session that night. What's up, what's up? Welcome. We found another banjo, guys. Except this time, I feel prepared. And I don't hate the matchup anymore. God, what a gimmick. Dude, he has some fucking gimmicks. Holy shit. I had no idea what was going on there. Let me just not interact off stage next time. Seems to work against that. Nice. Oh, Smashville. I think we banned this against Banjo. Because, like, raw, random Wonder Wings just kill. And it's just like, oh, I was wrong. And you just get hit by it and you die. Or, oh, I didn't expect it, and you die. Okay. 
78 to 85. I think this is a very good banjo stage for that reason. Imagine he died. That sucks. I'm not sure if my up smash would have reached there, which is why I didn't go for it. Yeah. yeah. I don't like that stage versus Banjo. That was good though. Like, I feel like I get hit at 50 at ledge by uh, Wonderwing and I die. And it was avoidable, but. Yeah, the down tilt completely outspaced me. I, li I like your, your Wonderwing option on, on Smashville, it's very scary. I had no idea your down tilt could do that to my giant punch though, that's new. Are we doing a banjo grind again? I use up tilt sparingly. Um, I just think it's really bad sub 50% because it's unsafe on hit. You get comboed for, for hitting someone with it, unfortunately. So that's why I save it. I definitely pressed the A button. I'm a little confused why it didn't come out. Am I dead? Oh, good feedback. Not exactly sure what to do <coughs> once this starts happening. I almost died. Can't DI those. Yeah, he called that out really hard. That was good. Egg is so annoying. Just a little egg.
You're right, I don't use up tilt at all. I should maybe consider using it more. I forgot to switch outfits. Shit. I still have this one on for a while. Oh, we're on Battlefield. Uh, it's eight. All right, I know the percent. This is too loud. How do I interact with that move? Not sure yet. Okay, I just wait. It has cooldown in between the hits, so... It's on me if I get hit by one of them. DI in is a good mix up? Seems like it. Yeah. Oh, that sucks. My smash rank? Uh, I can check after it. It's, it's not that high. It's like Another time someone hit my shield and I didn't react to it. No, miss input. It's supposed to be Nair. I was ready this time. Fucking gimmicky ass character, man. I should have killed him. Again. There you go. I was ready for the crazy fucking quick back air stage fight that time. It's so fast. It's so fast. <sighs> Do I still grind on Matchbox? I haven't, to be honest. I prefer the speed of quick play, finding matches. But I could always give it another shot. There's no, there's no reason that I shouldn't, or that I won't. I've competed for 16 years. Yes. Wait, we're on Dreamland? Oh, you have this on? Holy shit. That's funny. I haven't played on this stage in a long time. Or not Dreamland, Yoshi. Why did I say Dreamland? Yoshi Story. I haven't played on this stage in a long time.
Whoa, that's why you picked the stage. Okay, I see you. You can have an unfair advantage with your down smash. I see you. I could do the same thing, but yours is probably stronger. <laughs> Actually don't know the kill percents on this stage that's a lie it's minus one i think or actually i don't know i don't remember y yeah i gotta stop doing that it's probably minus one i think it's 72 to 85. Dying in uh, seems to help me a little bit. No trip? Come on. Alright, you still got it. Why am I at 69% already? Oh, I fucking misinputted because I was talking. Damn it. The spring-loaded triggers in a GameCube controller, they suck. I will I will be the first to admit. They're the worst part about the controller, in my opinion. Yeah, I have to stop trying to look at and answer three chats while I'm playing. Especially when I'm fighting Banjo. I will look at the chat in between matches, but... Yeah, it's very different. I think this is all also minus one. You have stages on where I actually don't know like what the kill percents are, but it should be pretty much the same. have enough cooldown for me to fucking grab? That's insane. We'll just go with the normal kill percents. I think it's pretty similar to PS2 on the stage. Oh, I gotta stop up being. It's so bad. It's so bad in this matchup. I have to remember never press that button. Ever. Okay, he baited it that time, I guess. I press it again. Did it work? Sort of. Not really. That was really hard to see with the fucking giant meteor in the background.
I was hoping I could at least hit you, but I didn't hit you in the direction that I wanted to. Pretty sure the percents on both Yoshi uh, Yoshi Story and Northern Cave are very similar to PS2. Yeah, yeah they, they're very similar. In fact, I think Nor North uh, Northern Cave might be plus one if I'm guessing. I think Yoshi's is minus one, and then on the top platform, I think it's like minus fourteen, <laughs> if I remember correctly. I uh, I'm doing this full time now. Yes, Smith. So if you guys are trying to support, please come to my Twitch channel. And uh and subscribe if you like what you see. If you're enjoying the entertainment and the education that I bring about Smash. Don't need to, but if you would like to, it would be appreciated. Whoa, I didn't want three. With that second backer, definitely too hard. Oh, he tried to do some sneaky recovery there. Oh no. <laughs> I'm not even sure, just sure what happened. Stop mashing, jump, double jump, constantly. That was a really high percent to kill Banjo at. Oh, 
<laughs> oh wow. I thought you committed hard enough for me to hit you. Falling for that, it's so good. If you have more than one uh, Wonder Wing, The tech there. I don't think the tech would have mattered. That move is destroying me. <laughs> you, you know how to use it really well. I'm getting caught by it a lot. Someone asked that same exact question before. Do I think Kazuya is hard to pick up? I'm just gonna say no. This time. <laughs> That's my answer. Legend interaction is not working out for me, so let's not be over there. That was pretty good. Platform plays, though. <laughs> I 
What was that? That was an aerial DKO. Also, I just grabbed him because I thought he might jump. And DK's grab, it covers very low, actually. Wonderwing way more aggressively than KC does. I will say. It's kind of throwing me off. So it's something new I have to adapt to. Raw grab does not work against Banjo, I have to stop. I'm gonna like lose my lead otherwise. DK, come on! I did the miss input. I flicked the stick in a really weird way, so that happened. That's unfortunate. Yes! I waited long enough. My shoulder is fine, Kaden. I feel like you comment on it whenever I... I'm, if, if, if anything, it's tight. It's good. No worries. Whew. I love last hit interactions that end in giant puns trumping. This song... Is... Also check it. This is Chrono Trigger. Oh fuck. Horizons of Time. And there is the link to my playlist. And the link to it, I think it's... Oh, I can't tell you what timestamp it is because I think all the, the songs are uh, scrambled. But I told you the name of the song and it's it should be on my playlist. Which I linked to you in the chat. If anyone else is interested in my playlist, just type exclamation point playlist in the chat and you're good. Then you'll have it. I just feel, feel way less lost in this matchup, even if the matches are still really close. Nice. 
nice. Characters are so hard to grab because you have Nair and the stupid eggs. I can't just like mix up with grab as nearly as much. I have to like really earn it with like a tomahawk or a trip. This jab is kind of annoying too when it comes to grabbing. Thank you, Slinky. So cool if you bounced. <laughs> nope, yep, don't do B reverse down B's from ledge. Not against Banjo. Again, the egg is just, it stuffs a lot of DK's options. Maybe that would hit, but it doesn't kind of, it doesn't really work the same as snakes grenades. Jesus Christ. Can't tell what's going on. Yeah, that was good. Crazy. It's it's the egg the little mini egg combos that fuck me. I get put in this like crazy disadvantage, I take 70% from it, and then I have no disadvantage options afterwards, and I'm like, what do I do? Grounded up E through? Um, potentially. Yeah, actually, I could try that. I'm very scared too, though, because he can just jump to a platform, avoid it, and then punish me. But you're right. I could try that. I could just start, like, trying to use it as a call-out in neutral. I should've just mashed A. Hold on, we gotta bump the music, maybe. I'm like grabbing at the right time, but like the accuracy is not there. grenading himself. What the fuck? What the fuck was that? Alright, fuck the grab. <laughs> what the hell was that triple egg grenade bullshit?
I'll just do the save option, because I know I'm gonna get hit by your shit if I do anything else. Did I detonate it? Did you not take the hit? That's interesting. Yes! Remember I was telling you guys about that. And now I just realized how you're supposed to do it. You're supposed to keep a giant punch stocked. Oh my god. New tech. Use F smash against their disjointed options. Like I guess any of Kazooie's hitboxes. And then they go into like unmovable clash lag. I hope I rematched. I was like pretty slow to press it. I might have missed it. I pressed it with one second left. Yes. The triple bomb into bear. It may have been DI dependent, but I was definitely either doing nothing or holding in. Dude, I've never hit that clash lag to run up giant punch. That was so godlike. New tech. You just have to react to it. And honestly, it's a pretty lenient reaction window, because he's stuck there for a long time. Damn, the platform just arrived now. It's alright, we got it. The platform came in handy. That jab is so tricky for some reason. It just catches me. Don't mess with my mash. <laughs> you better better read the fast mash. My mash was on overdrive that time. You had grabbed me too many times. <laughs> nice. Thank you, Rat Eagle. Thank you for the belated birthday wishes. Thank you. Appreciate it. Wow, yeah. Nothing I could do about it with no jump. Crazy. I could die here. I have to get the fuck out of here. Likewise, you can die there. Yeah, Bikili's uh, banjo is, is very good. Very, very good. Yeah, I was very close to getting Wonder Winged. I was feeling it. No sound? Wait, what do you mean? Do you not have audio? Should have audio. This matchup is so variable. Like, every game feels different. Like, there's just new things happening, feels like. I 
not much I can do there. I don't really know how that works, but I don't think he took damage or knockback from it. Perfect percent. Ouch. Oh god. Wow. Spot dodge cancel to the rescue. Okay, I'm sort of figuring out some stuff. Oh shit, you had the jab lock. I know you didn't mean to keep jabbing there. I was about to get fucked up. Nice. Good call out. I, I know what I should have done there. I know what to do there. I think I know what to do against that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I understand now, I think. Oh, just as a heads up, for anyone that's asking about like that kind of stuff that I honestly shouldn't really be talking about on my stream, uh, if you could somehow do it privately and like not in chat, because again, I don't really, I don't really want to get in trouble for it. So, so, Chr <laughs> so Chris, thank you for the prime. No, you're good. You're good. You're good. It's gonna be something ongoing. So it's just you know. Again, it's pretty subtle, it's not crazy, but at the same time, if it becomes a theme on my stream, it could be a problem, so. Oh, footstool there, what the fuck was that? Nice. Right, you're very eager to down air and I'm not respecting it. I mean, it's okay to observe that, you know, I honestly, I don't know what the right answer is. <laughs> I guess it's not that big of a deal, but... Do I consider Ike mains a challenge? Uh, yes, actually. Because the character is, like, linear enough, but honestly, I'll still get hit by the linear stuff, and then, like, DK goes for a ride afterwards. Just kind of how he, he works. Nice. Oh no. Keeps reading those. Wow, that was really good. Nice. 
That seemed to work. Every other time I did normal get up there, I got killed. This time we got the berry. Both you and the other person are very good. <laughs> Thank you. I'm sure Bikilis appreciates that as well. Damn, we, we out here finding the banjos on quick play. a lot of matches rapid fire, I gotta remember to do some hand stretches here in between matches. Yeah, that's okay, it's not that much damage. Actually, I think I remember what, you're, what I'm supposed to do against that, DI-wise, Achilles. I think you taught me that last time I fought you. I just forgot until now. Oh, he knew to wait. That's bullshit. I've said it many times, but it's so true. I should have done anything else. See? Every time I try it, it's wrong. I thought he would egg, but again, I, I know when I'm supposed to use it. It's when he commits to the egg. Because when he commits to it, he's stuck in that animation. It's like a transformation, almost. And it has, like, cooldown. I baited it this time. Let's go. Could I play a who? Hold on. Oh, that's not a way to bounce. Ooh, he took both. He fits. Let's go. No, I did it. I could have done the mix-up. Fuck. Can I do hand stretches? Oh. I definitely was not doing those enough. I've been playing a lot. I couldn't play DK, who else would I main? I don't know, man. I wouldn't be sm playing Smash this many years if not for DK, I think. 
Can you see my hand stretches? Yeah, I need to do this one particularly right now. I'm feeling it right here. There's also a workout that I do that makes me feel it here. So I, I do it like during the workout. Like when I do the lat pulls, I feel it in my forearms, which I don't, I guess I shouldn't be using those muscles that much for that, but. I guess that's not necessarily a hand stretch, but that's one of the ones that I do. There, whoever said grounded up B versus that, you are correct. And that's the only time I should be using it because he's like, he, but he doesn't have to stay stuck into that as a commitment. Like he could do, he could drop it right away. He could do one little egg and then stop. And if he does that, then I'm in trouble. If he see keeps committing to it, then it works. Oh. That was the first dash attack I think I've seen from you. What? Let's go! You had some crazy SDI in that down air too, what the fuck was that? <laughs> Nice jump back. That was a perfect punish. I'm dead. Oh. Take center and get the fuck out of there, Will. Bye. How's my matchup with Yoshi? Personally, um, I do pretty well. DK, though... It's probably slightly in Yoshi's favor, but I kind of, it feels even to me. Wow, that was really good. Yo, that was nasty. <laughs> are bad. Yeah, nowhere to go. DK destroys Mewtwo, in my opinion. But I don't know, I mean, I don't know how true, I don't know if he destroys him, I think DK wins. Wow, that's so annoying. Kirby's a wild card. DK can do well versus Kirby, like he can wall him out, and then Kirby can just kill DK at any percent, at zero. What is my favorite Pokemon? Some really nice memories with Blastoise in Pokemon Blue, and also the first two base set um, Pokemon packs I ever bought of base set one, which was the only set at the time, so it wasn't called base set one, it was just the first set ever. I pulled two Blastoises, so it was just like a match made in heaven. He was already my favorite Pokemon. And then I just, I started running a rain, a rain Dance deck, which was the super top tier deck, like the best deck in the early formats. So I guess you could say I was a tier whore in the Pokemon trading card game.
Thanks to Blastoise. Uh oh, yeah. Oh, DK. Oh, DK. Oh, that's unfortunate. Whoa! I got scared and I jump, double jumped into it. Grounded up E. Sucks. Only in that one specific scenario is it good. There's no fucking way. Damn. I guess I shouldn't have went that hard off stage. Yes! I guess I can do that too, because I'm imagining that you did the egg, you did like a egg jump turnaround, and then you were going to start shooting egg again. Is that how that worked? Or did you already turn around, and then you were about to shoot the egg? Never has that happened. <laughs> huh. I'm not exactly sure what happened there. You shot and couldn't shoot again. Okay, so I caught you during the cooldown. Yeah. That seems to be the biggest drawback of the egg gun. What controller do I use? Here. GameCube, yeah. Matchup versus King K. Rule. I think DK wins. K. Rules will tell you otherwise.
No, it's good. My 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 hand is fine. I just gotta make sure I keep doing hand stretches. Cause I think I pushed it a little bit in my workout. I think I'm gonna tone it down next time. My forearm is feeling uh, a little tight. I'm not pressing buttons any more rapidly than I normally do. That might not be true. My mashing has been out of control tonight, so maybe I actually do need to tone it down on the mashing. Through the egg. He's not dead. He had it. I did the neutral get up again. When am I going to learn that that is not an option against Banjo? Never. Apparently. There's like four different ways you can kill me for doing neutral get up, and you've done it. You've done all of them. And I keep doing the neutral get up. And I'm not sure why. Alright, I'll do the full-on hand stretches in between the matches. Keep waiting for me to roll. Yeah, I guess the roll would get caught too. I just have to wait. That's all I need to do, is wait. Surprise, super armor. Didn't do anything for me, but... Nice. Nice call out. I'm alive. So strong. Nice dodge. See, it's not good. It's only good against the egg. Such a good setup. If you hit that forward smash, I was gonna be so mad. What the fuck? 
I forgot how many jumps you had, or that you can turn around in midair when you have that many jumps. That's crazy, dude. We're gonna get a cheese kill on you, though. <laughs> or just a good grab. That back air is the bane of my existence. There's the roll. Yeah, that was the first time you hit that. I guess I shouldn't have tried to go for fair. Also, you had really good DI on the grenade. Like, I did dash attack to a grenade, and then you DI'd in on the grenade so that my fair would miss. Maybe I should have just up aired. It would have worked on 9 out of 10 banjo players. But he was holding in there. Yeah, no, I'm good, I'm good, I'm good. I just made a bad decision there. Just this arm just a little tight. That's all. Thank you for the extra time. It's just the exercises I was doing today. I stepped it up a little bit. I did more reps than I normally do. And I guess I just didn't stretch enough. Small battlefield. No, it's battlefield percents. Right, I'm good. I appreciate it. This actually- now I should actually stretch this one too, because this one is not limber enough. You gotta make sure to do the stretches in between the reps too sometimes, because you'll feel it right away and be like, whoa. Alright, that's good. Appreciate that. Thank you. 81 to 85. Oh, thank you, Raymundo. I that means a lot to me, actually, that you say that. God, that's my that is my favorite thing to hit with DK. I lie. That's the favorite right there. It's so satisfying. Not this time. <laughs> I hit you, but you're invincible. See? Just wait. Wait is correct. Do I ever do Community Arena? Uh, it's something I could consider. I know a lot of people want to play me, and there's also a lot of people watching right now, so I appreciate all you guys. And thank you for all the new YouTube subscribers, everyone watching. I do this every night. Whether I'm playing sub battles, I'll fight against you guys. I'll do quick play, in this case, where I'm kind of grinding new matchups. Matchups that I'm like not that strong in, trying to learn. Usually when I do matches versus you guys, it's mostly DKs, because people want to test their metal against my DK. Oh yeah, that that move loses big time to super armor, it seems, because it has big startup in the beginning. Even my side B bumps it. Yeah, Jay Grunt, we've never played. And I know you have a crazy Greninja. 
it's kind of wild that we've never played. I play a lot of quick play, too. Also, at this point, I guess I'm just, like, kind of doing a DK Banjo matchup ex exhibition. It's insane. I, I don't know how we've never played, being honest. Oh, I do have the Northern Cape for Sans. Oh, it's the same as PS2. Okay, it's literally the same. I like those mix-ups with the downer. Oh, that's gonna hurt. I know you, uh... <laughs> I've seen the interactions. I know you've played Nurse Joy. And Nurse Joy trolled me because I was playing quick play on my stream with like a bunch of viewers. It was like 5 a.m. And Nurse Joy gets on with a tag that I, you know, I would definitely not recognize. And I thought it was just like a random nest, and it ended up being Nurse Joy. And like they were like, you know how you like you underestimate someone, and then they like fucking do all this crazy bullshit, like what Ness can do against DK. I was like, wait, this is not a normal Ness player. What's going on here? I have to try not to get caught up by people. I have to like get an eye on their GSP and figure these things out. Yes! Not that I'm sleeping on anyone, but like, it's very possible to be like, oh, I know who this is, and then just like know exactly what to look out for. But if I didn't know who it was, I was like, oh, this nest isn't going to have all the broken nest tech. I like this stage. Wow, the grenade saved you. Seems like the Nair covers that pretty well, though. Ooh, good call. Oh, I started lagging right at the worst moment. Yeah, that platform fucked me there. Nope, it's not worth it. I've learned. Just ledge trap. I'm not going off stage against Banjo anymore. I've paid the price too many times. These are fun matches though. You played a lot of sweaty DKs, but you haven't played me. Guess what? I suck at the Greninja matchup, so I could probably use your help on that one. <laughs> that one is, uh... I don't know how to sweat against Greninja, I'll be honest. That's like one of those obscure ones that DK gets, like, slapped if he doesn't know what's going on. You don't drop those, which is crazy. Nice. I should do that more. Down tilt, confirm, dash grab. Like, it only works at like high percents though. What if I just platform camp down air and forward airs? <laughs> Would that work? 
shooting. Stop. I know what you want. Dude, that rain outside, though. Right, I can't grab that. Thought you still had a grenade! No! I thought you had to respect the grenade explosion. Dodge. Everyone else gets caught off guard by that, except for you. Keep it simple. It's one of DK's best stages. It's it's rare that you'll actually like um, ever get to play on it because it's not legal in any regions anymore. But when it was, great great stage for DK. Yeah, Lo the the smashes are definitely best I've found in the corner. Like Casey was opening me up with those smashes in the corner. I would say. What do I play on? GameCube controller. I haven't been to that many tournaments in Ultimate, I'll be honest. But, um... I'll, I, I could say something very cliche. I'm better in friendlies. But everybody is better in friendlies. But it's like legit true for me. Unfortunately. That being said, I have competed for 16 years, so it's almost like... I could keep going to tournaments, but it's like, I could also just play this game for fun, even though I have to play it online, that's a big sacrifice. I would, I'm born and raised playing this game, not this game particularly, but Smash offline, so. I have very, very, very good reaction time, but I can't really prove that in an online environment. In fact, my whole playstyle is derived around it about reacting so but playing online forces you to get better at you know reading so that's what online is good for oh god good call yeah i got too lazy there Yes, it actually worked, because you fell off the platform. You watched half of my shorts? Holy shit. Yo, good looks. I hope my shorts are bingeable. I, mean, I try to make them all content. Like, good content. Yeah, you gotta watch out there. call out well you don't always call out my <coughs> down airs I just like kind of always go for them I think they're good though they're netting me kills so they gotta be pretty good don't put me on the top platform I don't want to be there
Nice. Oh, I live because Battlefield. Let's go. Oh, DK does not give a fuck, dude. Oh god, I get too jumpy and I don't pay attention to your wonder wings. Alright. The last big tournament I attended was Collision. Unfortunately, I did practice like for two weeks offline beforehand. But I only got 129th. It was unfortunate. The way it played out was, um, I was gonna play the winner, or no, is that how it worked? Well, I lost to a Rob, basically, and, uh, Smurf poster with Kazuya slash Ryu had to fight MVD Snake in the winner side, and I had to play the loser eventually because I had beat everyone. So Smurf poster ended up 3-0-ing MVD, so I had to fight MVD and losers decently, like, to make it out of pools, which was unfortunate, to say the least. It was- they were close matches, though. Like, I was not very disappointed with how they went, but... Again, I, I shouldn't have lost to the Rob. I think I could've won, dude. Yeah, Smurf poster with his fucking box Kazuya, bro. That shit was- I played against that shit in friendlies. It was not- it was not okay. <laughs> also, he switched from Box Kazuya to Controller and won the set. He lost, actually it was 3-1, I think, or maybe it was game 5, I think it was game 5. Yeah, he lost though with Box Kazuya and then switches mid-set to Controller Ryu and then wins the set. Which is insane, to say out loud. Switch control schemes and entire controllers mid set and then beat your opponent. Maybe. No. Good call. Yeah. You do that and it always fucking works against me. Yeah, spot dodge canceling to the rescue. Brooklyn was my favorite event until it disappeared. I don't, I'm not going to say it disappeared. I don't know. Maybe they still host events, just under a different name at the same venue. If that's the case, then please make me aware. And I need to start going to those every once in a while again. Because I, I fucking love that venue, dude. Oh my god. Oh, the last hit. I was sure that you would tech it. I don't know who that is. I'm not sure who who that is. J Grunt. This reminds me of another late night session that we did. Uh, 
Oops, I fucked up. I clicked away on a window that I didn't want to. My bad. Oh, I'm not gonna do that in the beginning of the match. I'm gonna charge it, like, for real. Yes! Wait, did you take the grenade damage? Bro, you were at 51. Does back air down air do 51 damage? I don't think so. I think I destroyed the grenade <laughs> with my down air and you took it all. Wait, maybe I'm wrong. Back air does 13, down air does 20. It's 33. Caro up throw does like... Huh. I don't know, actually. Maybe that was 51%. That was broken. Yeah, parry does not work there, huh? Dude, my arm feels totally better because you gave me time to stretch. Thank you for that. Just do it again to check. <laughs> yeah, I'll just do it one more time. Yeah, that was not worth. Oh god. Maybe I could have done something better there. Holy shit, that was good. Die. You're living. Oh, you fucking did it again, dude. That would not work offline. I'm just gonna point out. I have good reaction time. By the time I saw it, I pressed the jump button, but with even three, four, or five frames of delay, there's no way I'm gonna jump out of the way. <laughs> I think that's buffed online. Just like Spin Dash. Except Wonder Wing actually kills. I'm allowed to say that because I just barely got hit by it and I did press the jump button. So offline, I know that, that I would have been able to react in time. Still, doesn't mean it wasn't a good mix-up. Just Johnny. Yes. What the fuck was that option? That was crazy. Hmm. Gotta be really careful here. Oh god. You're good with those down airs. Who do I run into the most on Elite? In terms of characters? Falcon? Played a lot of Falcons. Ganon? Uh... Actually, I don't know. Alright, you're out. You're out, Casey. All right, peace out, Casey. Hold on. Thank God I got hit with all the hits there. Nope. Done with that. I'm done. Nice tag. Hmm. 
other than that interaction right there, I was gonna say this stage actually feels harder versus versus uh, Banjo. For whatever reason. I don't know if that's true or not. That sucks. Well, I just jinxed it. I wanted you to prove that it was hard. And now that happened. close to the ground for the combo. Um, probably Twitter. Probably Twitter. I mean, honestly, Discord works too, but... Discord works too, but I don't know. Oh, actually, you know what? We could easily DM each other in Discord, because you're in uh, Ryuga Cord, right? I'm in Ryuga Cord, so... We're definitely, uh, you could DM me on Discord then, that's definitely easier. What happened to my controller? What do you mean? The mash? It, I, I was mashing it. Interesting. I didn't know that that could work like that. fucking platform moved so I couldn't get it. it sucks. Yeah, it's all over after that. dash backwards and got hit by that. Oh, he fucked up. Oh, no. He did the wrong throw. Alright, he got a forward there, though. Alright, peace out, Jay Grunt. I definitely am gonna take you up on the Greninja grind sesh, because I know how good your Greninja is. Oh, you tried? You purposely <laughs> up through? Really? I thought I was a high enough percent for you to just guaranteed kill me. How do I feel about Banjo now? A, l a little bit more comfortable. You have to play it a really specific way. It again, it just comes down to matchup experience, I think. It feels a like... A lot more comfortable now, if I'm being honest. It seems about just like keep a lot of space between you and him, and then just 
actually mix up your movement, which is kind of fun to do. Ooh, I swatted it that time. Yeah, I got a little too happy. Should have giant punched. Whenever you have Giant Punch and you die, it's always, man, I should have Giant Punched. <laughs> yeah. What's up, uh, JCEC? Doing well, doing well. Wow, we shot up a bunch of subscribers. Thank you, everyone. Super happy about that. What's the stat? I'm at like 2,888 watch hours and I need 3,000. So I'm not monetized yet. And I don't think streaming is helping me because I'm not like posting them publicly. I mean, it's helping me, don't get me wrong, but it's not giving me public watch hours. It's, it is, but only if I like post it publicly. And if I do that, I'll drop a bunch of subscribers because everyone's going to get a, like a push notification of like a six hour stream and everyone's like, what the fuck is this? And they'll just like unsub. But low key, maybe it's worth it just to do it once and let it stay live because it'll push me over the boundary. But then I just don't want people to unsubscribe. Like I don't want to put out content that they don't want to watch. So like unedited VODs. Wow, these back errors, though. Yep, wrong button. Just never stop streaming? <laughs> then it won't calculate. It needs to finalize for the watch hours to count. <laughs> Play the game for 3k plus hours? I've already done that. I've played for over 4,500 hours. Ooh, I almost got that down here. I'm just glad I didn't die to it. Ooh! Cute options, cute options. Nice parry, what the fuck? DK on Yoshi's. I should stop doing down B right after because you're good at calling it out.
Whoa. Yeah, I deserve that. Yeah, I thought you would directional air dodge again. That's why I did it. That'll do it. I like how the slow mo got you a picture of DK's uh, his dress shoe there. I feel like I've made some adjustments to this matchup. I'm feeling happy with it. The, uh, the Wonder Wings will still get me, though. And your mix-ups will still get me here and there. Money match online? You're crazy. 71 to 85. Or minus 2 on the side platforms. That's hype. I actually like fighting on the stage. Memories. Good memories. Thank God for that grenade. Forge Smash doesn't seem all that good in this matchup, so I'm probably gonna stop using it so much. Hello. Very patient. What? I 
actually missed that. Never worth it. It's just too big of a risk. Yeah. <clears throat> Oh god, this is really unsafe. Don't do that. <laughs> oh no, you parried too. And you're living. Do you have any Wonder Wings? Actually, don't know. here. Yeah, I don't know why I did another beer versus sound bee. I actually need to pay attention to your Wonder Wings, because I didn't know if you had it or not. This, this song got pretty loud. Uh, managed to tri fix my trigger? More like I just got used to it. I, th I think I just got used to it, being jank. Oh, thank you, Dylan. Um, Lil Emperor, uh, I do. You, you, you can view it actually like that if you want. Actually, I'm not exactly sure what you're saying, but if you wanted to watch the YouTube live stream in a different format, I am also simultaneously streaming it horizontally on YouTube as well. I'm not sure if that's what you're referring to, but... Yeah, they're both live. So if you want to watch it that way, you can. That would have been cool. Oh, that was really unfortunate, actually. At least I made you waste one. What are my controls? Oh, here. The command should come up for you. Matchup just comes down to taking advantage that D 
DK's airspeed is better than Banjo's, so I can kind of run away a bit. Charge my punch, and then just like, play neutral like slowly. Where am I going? I actually don't know what you meant, uh, Lil Ember. Otherwise, I would have answered you. Crazy interaction. Oh, I see what you're saying. I'm glad you didn't mash. You would have died. Oh, I did not think that was reaching. Wow. I thought I could have just back aired you. I was going to try something new. Look at the grenade. <laughs> Somehow I didn't hit the grenade. How do I dash attack back air so quickly? Um, attack cancel. Specifically, I do... I do forward and forward C to do instant dash attack, and then I do dash initial dash, C stick back with C6 at the tilt, and then Z jump. I fucked it up there, but... In fact, you could do attack cancel back air fast fall, attack air cancel back air fast fall, and just do it back and forth, and that's how you get really good at it. Uh, also, I teach that in my Menify lessons if anyone was interested Hot take, the OG fire should have a second selectable kit with updated moves and record. Right? They should have privilege for being around so long. Unlike, like, they should have what the DLC characters have, like, 
privilege, you know? Like, like a unique buff from game to game. Yo, what's up, Iceman? Good. Oh my god, I almost died to a single egg. jump didn't come out, that's so sad. trying to like style a little bit too much with my <laughs> movement here. That's the first time I've been able to do that. I think it's because you tried extending it more, or you just were slow on it. <sighs> Games have been great. Oh, the rate? Really? Okay, so that's one thing that can actually- Oh! Did I really? That's what you told me to do. I think I missed the rematch. And if that's the case... GG's, Achilles. It was a long, yet fun sesh. Yeah, it was a great sesh. I feel... Like I even have even more experience against Banjo now. The past couple, like, two or three nights I've fought against Banjo so often. Young Link should be based on the transformation masks from Majora's Mask, Pokemon Trainer style. There's just so many things they could have included that they didn't. Uh, go for it, Dylan. This is your best chance. Oh, is it? So I don't like play competitively or anything. I'm really good for casual and being big fish in a small pond. But can anyone tell me how Banjo, Ness, Samus, and Red? You mean Pokemon Trainer? Um, well... Isn't there an official tier list out? Can somebody link that in my chat? Actually... There's an official tier list... somewhere. Wait, I thought it was a Mr. Saturn, I got really scared. I'm nice and warm after that. So we should be looking alright. I actually read that, and her role went far enough to avoid it, which makes me sad. Like, I went hard reading that, too. Okay. We still got something cool.
Nice. Oh, so close to hitting. Did I just double footstool? Smashville. And she's light. Nah, we are ready to tech Banjo fucking back air. I can tech that shit. Carrying like a lot of really, really DK specific shit. So I just need to grab one. <laughs> if they're parrying a lot. This is a, a remix from a game called Tangle Deep. It's called Secret Garden. You think there should be different tier lists for different skill levels? Interesting. I think you could definitely do that. If someone hasn't done it already, you can definitely do it. It would take a lot of work, a lot of time. I feel so warm after that session, Bikilis. I want you to know. Hold on, they have crazy peach tech on deck. I was not ready for that. Seventy two to seventy three, hold on, let's do the math real quick. What percent should I get her at to kill her with this much rage? That one? Dude. <laughs> that is such a fucking tiny window to hit on battlefield, and I just hit that shit on a command. Let's go. It's only a 2% window with no rage. I had 119 damage on me. Now, given if they held up and double jump, they probably would have escaped. But when someone's at 61, they're going to DI to survive because they're on battlefield. So actually, because they DI to the side, I think it extended the window. It's okay. That's what I'm here for, Dylan, to explain it. Even if it's too much to explain again if you guys are enjoying the stream i haven't really pushed this much but i appreciate you all uh, but you should check out my twitch and subscribe to me if you have amazon prime or if you just want to support then you can sub up 
either way. And also I do this thing where, not necessarily tonight, but if you guys subscribe, I do a lot of subscriber battles. I've been doing a lot of them lately. Oh, I found the same person. Or did I rematch? I don't even know. It might be that hour where we might just be fighting the same people now. Again, I will be monetized soon on YouTube. Six to seventy-three on the stage. Oh, she's light. Oh yeah, I'm nocturnal now. Don't worry. Nice call out or nice punish. That's scary. I optimized it by accident. Oh, my up air was too stale anyway. But I shouldn't have optimized. I should have just went for it. I let my rage carry me. Damn, I fucked up. I had that. Nice. I'm frying your friend? For real? What's funny is I left. I played them a best of three, and then I left, and then I rematched with them again. Zepic! Thank you for the late birthday wishes. Jay, were you speaking to me, or were you speaking to someone else? Oh, you're, you're talking to somebody in the chat, okay. I appreciate the the inter-chat com uh, conversations. Because I know I'm not- I'm playing a lot, and I'm not necessarily, like, responding to everything, so. I'm getting jab one, jab two, back air. That's attack cancel, yeah. That's how I'm getting it. It's not true, but it catches people off guard because nobody expects it. It's just like, like good pressure, I would say. Now we're on PS2, we're on Ding Dongville. Wow, that's active really long, okay. Do I use Sephiroth? No. And you can call me Will. Otherwise it's kind of redundant, right? I thought you would counter for sure there. GG's. I'm trying, I'm trying to reply.
Oh, we found another Sheik. We just played this matchup before. I think I know what to do now. They're gonna play passive? Oh, I'm gonna play passive, bro. I'm just gonna hang out on this platform all day. Maybe we can hang out on this platform. <laughs> and this is how the combos always start. It's always up air, up. It's like falling up air to like two or three more up airs, which is so weird, but it works. Every Sheik on quick play is good. What the fuck is this? That's insane. Ah, uh, my directional air dodge got caught by those needles. Why? Why can you do that? Why can you still combo it? Jesus Christ. Why is Sheik such a hard character to fight for DK? Bro, I can't move. She's able to just do shit and DK is not allowed to play the game. Every Sheik I've played tonight has been like fucking godlike. What is this? And how have I never seen it before tonight? Why can you- oh, it's because it's your neutral pick. The stage where you can just keep up airing as a ladder, I see now. But, I mean, even with the side platforms you can do it. Ah, oh, I'm bad. Alright, we got one. 66 to 69, I can't even get a PDK out of here. I'm gonna have to do something different. And the answer is Nair. Yeah, that's fine. I was playing right the last stock. The first two stocks, I just felt like I couldn't do anything. Everyone says that about DK versus Sheik, but tonight is the first night I've actually been fighting. That person has much higher GSP than me, so this the Sheik is actually better than the first one I was playing, I guess. That's what it felt like. Why are you gonna one and done? That's Web JP. Are you serious? That's why he one and done. For real. Do you want to know a secret? I shouldn't say it. I shouldn't. I'm not going to say it. The people in my Twitch chat know the lore about me versus WebJP. GG's, I guess. Don't stick around because uh, the matches would have gotten very close. WebJP is a top sheep player.
I'm sad. So what you're saying is that they is that GSP matters. Or not really. It's like it's like I'm not deemed worthy of a challenge because I lost on battlefield to Sheik. When uh I don't know, I feel like that could have gone differently if we kept playing. Again, I don't, I don't have to say it. Maybe I should say it. <laughs> I'm not trying to start drama, though. Ooh, go. I don't even know what happened there. This is Steve. That Nair killed me. That SD was bad. I'm not gonna talk trash on my stream in front of hundreds of people. It's okay. Hold it, let's bring it back. Let's bring it together here. Try not to SD out of tilt. This is actually a very hard matchup that I need practice in. Link's recovery is too godlike. He can just go really low and be fine. Yeah, fuck. I shouldn't have done that. Eighty-one to eighty-three. Percents, I cannot really kill a link with PDK. Yeah. The way you lose to Link is you get grabbed. I learned. He just gets a lot of momentum after he gets grabbed. Do that. Let's just do that every time. I'll switch. Nah, I gotta 
don't respect that move. Dude, Link can go so low with that upbeat, it's insane. I didn't expect to die. Okay, he's in percent. Let's see if he knows. <laughs> he's just fucking tomahawk me, it's insane. I'm a, there's no way I'm gonna grab him. I'll try though. Nah, it's not gonna happen. That's why we keep the giant punch charged. The jab mixes? Do you like my jab one? I'll do jab one sometimes, especially like when you bounce somebody in the air. I think I did it earlier in my set with uh, Bikilis on Yoshi's. I did like down air bounce, jab one, and then it's like, wait, like what comes next? Jab two, right? Or he's gonna do an aerial, and then like they land, and then you grab. It's like, it's a Smash 4 mix up. Jab grab actually was true in Smash 4 though. In this game, it's simply a mix up. But it, it can work. Especially if you're looking for a grab. The jab has such little knockback that it won't allow them to tech at the right percents. That was almost really sick. That was really scrubby of me. DK was so cheese in Smash 4? Yeah, he was. Tipper jab to grab was true. I miss it. Mashing? I'm mashing. Oh, the uncross up cross up. Caught him. Okay, that one is not gonna get dodged. Music playing? What's going on here? Why is it so quiet? Oh, that was supposed to be it. Aerial down B. Fuck. If I downbeat the other way, I actually think it would have worked. I was kind of feeling myself there. Yeah, I did, but he didn't stick around physics. He should have. It could have been a good session, but he didn't want to. Could have been my first time in a while playing against a top player in a grind sesh. But apparently I'm, I'm not good enough. When I, I think I'm a player where I may have proven it over the past week, where if you give me time to adapt, that's when I'm scary. Specifically when you give me time to adapt. And I actually didn't know that about myself. I thought I was bad at adapting, but lately, I think I've gotten better at it. You mean the psychic child who was- oh. <laughs> I don't know the backstory. I actually haven't played the mother games, but I know that you're talking about either Ness or Lucas. Yo, we just hit 14k subscribers on YouTube. Let's fucking go. Thank you. Got a hype. Hype, hype, hype. 
And then we just lost one after I said it, but it's okay. We will, we will trend upwards and beyond again. Delicious. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ooh, it's Hero. Wait, I've played against this player before. I recognize the tag. <laughs> Whoa, that was a very interesting interaction. 71 to 80. Oh wait, we're supposed to be fighting him. What am I doing? Now I have to wait for a while. Accelerator, Accelerator, whatever it's called. Seventy one to eighty. I more than occasionally do subscriber battles. If you guys are trying to play me, definitely... Well, I, I'm not doing it right now, just because I'm mixing it up to keep the content fresh. But I do I do, do sub battles, and there's a little bit more down, downtime when I do those, where like, there's like setup time and I have to wait for people to join and stuff. But on quick play, I just get to keep playing like this, so it's pretty entertaining. But uh, definitely come through to my sub battle streams. And that's uh, if you're subscribed to me on Twitch, I'll play against you, because that's the only place I'm monetized right now. Hello, that was crazy. I was going to say, can we make it three? Ah. Also, 82 viewers on Twitch, 333 on YouTube Shorts Live, and 28 on YouTube. Let's fucking go, guys. The stream has grown. Officially. Leon? This is Leon? Is that who Big Smoke is? Are you serious? That's funny. He just decided to go hero. I, I ran into him before. <laughs> yeah, my hands are a little cold. I recognize the tag, now I understand. That's actually really funny. I didn't know that. <laughs> he seems frustrated. Listen, we get to go on every stage. He grabbed my grab, that's me. Oh, he barely didn't make that. Hmm. 
Nice. Not this time. Good me. Why is this character so scary with this fucking speed? Oh, that was terrible, the eye. but I might have been dead anyway. I'll take that trade. <laughs> it's funny that I'm fighting Leon's hero right now. game. I mean, it's better than getting kabooms. What? Why did that work? I'm dead. Why did DI in on down throw work at 140? Whatever that was. I guess that's a DI mix-up. Okay, I see. I see. I see. If you guys don't know who I'm fighting right now, this is Leon, probably the best Bowser, period. But he he's he secondary's hero, so he's playing me with his hero right now. Fuck. But his hero is also very good. I refuse to believe that that's a thing. There's no way that it's true. Yeah, I deserve that. I'm not scared, bro. He looks so small now compared to just before. That's so funny. <laughs> oh, I almost got crit. Ah, oh, my fastball didn't come out. I keep running into the one move that destroys DK in neutral. Wow. 
Ooh, is he lighter during that? He might be. Tried to go for some shit, dude. Actually, there was a good chance of that hitting me. Because he could have super armored and my hands could have extended into it. I got pretty lucky there. <sighs> Goddamn. This is definitely the best hero I've played in a really long time. Of course, if, if it's Leon playing, then it makes sense. Looks like Small Battlefield is his neutral pick. I should have jumped. I missed my A lands. Stupid move, it's so good against DK. Just gotta keep baiting them. He has more MP, he can still do it. Yeah, I deserve that. I fought him during Accelerado. I'm just landing into him now, out of impatience. Oh, that move is toxic. It's so good. It makes me have to play a lot slower if he knows to do that a lot. I'm not really sure how to punish it. Still do it. I drop shield on this fucking strong ass backer. Nice. Alright, that's two two.
<laughs> Me? Yeah, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a legacy DK player for many years. All right, I feel like we'll probably get one of my stages now. We've gotten small battlefield three times in a row, so nope. Okay, it's not. Goes. How many times can I get hit by that move? It's the mini game. looking at his menu. It's so good! Every time I do a back air fast fall, he perfectly times it there. I'm not looking at his menu enough. That was nice. I should have hit him. keep rematching me with this hero. This is good practice for me. It's very rare that I get to play against a good hero. How have we gotten his stage five times in a row? I'm not complaining, but how is that even statistically possible? I don't mind small battlefield at all, but it lets me play aggressive. sweaty mash. Nice. Damn, 
too floaty. Can't catch him. No, I messed up my attack cancel. I'm just stuck in the corner here. There we go. Wait, I gotta bait those out. Which I didn't do. Thanks. had fucking accelerate which makes him lighter so it didn't work even though he was at the right percent to die to it it totally threw me off Fuck. what happened there i did a wave bounce but i didn't make it back on the stage is it because he was too close and his shield collision like made it so i couldn't go onto the stage is that what happened there that like kind of blew my mind a little bit there I definitely did a wave bounce, but maybe it just didn't make it onto the stage because I messed up. I haven't fought Leon's Bowser in a long time, but I can tell you right now it would be a lot harder than fighting his hero. And even then we're going even, so, okay, maybe now we'll get one of my stages. Okay. Super armor. I'll get you eventually. Connection, I'm not sure why. Seventy nine to eight to eighty. That's not going to happen. How is he getting those? I'm on, I'm level with the top platform and it fucking hits. Has have you guys ever seen it hit that high before? What the fuck is that? That's some fucking bullshit, dude. character. Janky. Alright, it's still pretty close, so I can't complain. I mean, yeah, I can complain. I fucking died to Flack twice.
I'm dead. Yeah, the ground that up be such a bad habit of mine. Alright, so Thwack hits from the ground to the top platform. That... That's news to me. I didn't know that. I knew it hit underneath the ledge. I guess DK's big. I don't think it actually hits on the top platform, but it hits like right underneath it. And I was midair. That was so fucked up. I literally was like this. I was double jumping, like, like this. And I got caught during my double jump animation from a grounded thwack. Like, or maybe I did run off the platform jump. Something I was unaware of until now. Fucking crazy. That move right there, just, it triggers me. It just, it's so good against DK. Okay. We can take the first stock, but then I start getting janked. So I have to be careful. There is, every single time he goes for it. I think it's 100% kill rate. And I'm just not looking at his menu. He knows how to use it, like, better than other hero players. Because he's pressing it when it will kill every time. And I have to be aware of that. I just have to look at his menu. I'm not doing it for some reason. Probably because it's 5 a.m. I've been playing for a long time. He always sees that coming. Okay, if he thwacks, I'm dead. It hits just farther than a full jump. You have to shield it. Oh man. It hits me every time, dude. I'm, I'm seeing it coming and it's still hitting me at max range. He actually put himself ba <laughs> back into the range of, of PDKO by healing. Once he saw that, I was like, yo, does he know? <sighs> These are hard matches. Shit. He said it afterwards, like right after he did it. Oh, that was a bad idea. Okay, Thwack is the only... Thwack, I need to shield. I need to shield it. I need to shield, shield, shield it. Hey, we just got raided. 
Thank you, thank you, Aura. Right, 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 right. Well, this way, Leon gets to see how good my DK is when he's not playing Bowser. I got lucky there. Because honestly, I don't know if I'd be able to show off too much. His Bowser is really fucking good. I'm gonna survive on Kalos, that's for sure. Oh my god, that was strong. Okay, he'll die here, dear god. Not anymore, because he has Accelerate. I think I'll die to like a hit. Okay, never mind. My shield will get broken. Still hit me. Let's go. Oh, that's not good. Got away with it though. Yeah, that move is way too strong. I knew he thought I would punch. That's why I did it. I should do that mix up more. <laughs> DK will pretty much never neutral get ups, and then I did it right after. <laughs> yeah. Uh, also, we should change my title if we haven't already, Seth. I don't know how much longer he's going to play me, but we're kind of doing a grind sesh right now. Me versus uh, Leon's hero. Technically, I am fighting Leon, so I should probably let the people know. <laughs> Would appreciate it. He likes to sit back, which is probably good because you get more spells that way. But he stays very grounded and he just pulls out his spells. not jump in like that.
Okay, he's not falling for the tomahawks so easily anymore. Kill. Okay. got better at cheesing. I'm playing this too honest against a really dishonest character. <laughs> you know? Hello, lag. That made me get hit by an up smash. He has both buffs. He can break my shield. Okay. He doesn't have both buffs anymore. Now he does again. He ducked it. Are you serious? I thought for sure he would do something. He's just so patient. He just sits there, bro. That was supposed to be in there. Okay. Keep forgetting the percents. That was nasty. Let's go. I'm just running into his spells now, and he's shield grabbing. Okay. Wow, that caught my ledge drop jump. That was close. I don't know I don't know how to react to that proper. I keep jumping and you're supposed to just shield. Even when it's across the stage. <sighs> It won't update on the regular YouTube. I can update it. Thank you for trying though. Thank you, thank you. Okay, cross stage, shield kaboom. Up close, shield whack into whack. Have I been applying it? No. Because he's just been holding shield, and I actually don't know how to get through his defenses. Maybe I should, you're right. Just faint more. I'll take that instead of the hatchet, man. Like, he's just waiting, and then whiff punishing every time, and it works. That was sick, though. <laughs> Can I get a lead? Usually, no. Every time. I jump in response to him shooting something at me across the stage. The only thing I should do there, ever, is shield. It's just I don't play against good heroes, so I'm not accustomed to it yet.
He has not gotten a crit on me, at least. You're absolutely right, Seth. I should be fainting way more. Just baiting out all the spells by literally do jump out, jump in. Jump out, jump in. Every time. Now he has no MP. This time I'm gonna do it. <laughs> I'm not sure he knows how to deal with that. Which is good for me, if he doesn't know the counterplay yet. That was key. That was key, Seth. Thank you for pointing it out. I just need to do mid-range fainting. That is going in the neutral for this matchup. It is no longer aggressive. It is mid-range fainting because all of the spells that he wants to press that stuff me can be baited out with jump in, jump out, except for Kaboom. So I have to look at his menu. If I jump, I'll get hit by Kaboom. I should side B shield break? Maybe, he is holding shield a lot. If I can get a shield though. Look at that spacing, you see that? Look at that, three times, right outside the range. I got another down air there. That was curtains. That was a very good game, it felt like. My style is completely freeform. I don't know that too many other DKs that you can say that about. 
<laughs> GG's, GG's. That was actually really fun. Yeah, that's one of my favorite confirms. It's unexpected because they're like, what is he doing? He's like landing into the ground with down B1. I wonder if there's anybody else even on quick play. We might even just match up against each other again. <laughs> he switched up. Wait, for real. Oh my god, let's go. Wait. <clears throat> Wait, this is perfect. Guys, Achilles. KC! That was actually a mistake. Yeah, I have to stop challenging that. 75 to 85. This is so perfect. I literally just grinded for three hours in this matchup. <laughs> right, 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 right. He's just playing campy. Oh, he's gonna learn about my mash real quick. Nice, yeah. 75 to 85, I keep forgetting the percent. can't A land on our connection, bro. I've tried it so many times. Maybe the knockback is too low on the, that move for me to be able to do it. It's just hard, he plays so slow and like campy. He's playing so stationary. He's not actually doing anything besides pulling stuff out and it's making it hard. What? I'm done. Okay, I'll take it. Nice. Yeah. He plays so different. Every banjo that I've played against plays so fucking different. He's literally just standing on the ground and taking stuff out. <laughs> I I don't know how to beat against. I don't know how to play against someone that's playing so patient with projectiles. He is so willing to just sit there and just throw shit at me the whole time, and I'm trying to fight him. I definitely am not, I mean, I, we could hop in an arena, but like, I'll wait for him to switch and go Bowser on his own. 
I literally just trained in this matchup for three hours before and also like three hours the other night. So there's no Johns here. I understand the interactions. It just, the, the play style is so different. He's literally just taking out a grenade and then throwing eggs and then whiff punishing. It's like the dash attack, there's no purpose in it because he's staying so far away at all times. I'm never going to hit him with dash attack. Oh, I'm so bad. Yeah, that was a re grab. 74 to 85. Excuse me? I rolled past you. Good bait. The nares keep catching me. Seventy four to eighty five, I keep forgetting. It's too late for this shit, bro. I can't remember percents. Yo, Joe, what's good, bro? I get caught every time, and that's a double jump. That's getting caught. Excuse me? Of course, of course. Come on, we gotta get percent here. Yes. Yeah, he falls for that. <sighs> Thank you, Joe. Joe, I ran into Leon. You know, you know the Bowser? You like the best Bowser? I ran into him on quick play. I just grinded matches versus his hero for a while, and now I'm grinding matches versus his banjo because we're like the last two people on quick play at this GSP. <laughs> Thank you for the raid, bro. This is pretty hype, though. Leon did want to play me, so... Now he has to play me with... Now he's deciding to play me with not Bowser. Hold on. Whoa, I also see a forward tilt. Right. Mm-hmm. 
75 to 85. Unbelievable that move just it beats DK, I swear. Can't get off the ledge. What? I got pretty lucky there. Well the back air will never kill me, so that's good. it'll kill me if I don't pay attention. God, that move is so frustrating. Ugh. Can't A land. Stop running into those. I know better. I'm dead. I was supposed to go onto the platform, but I fucked up. My jump didn't come out. Banjo doesn't die, he's heavy, man. That's so cheap. <laughs> he should be able to get punished there. He's still not dead. How heavy is this character? I mean, I guess that wasn't that high of a percent, actually, for up to... Starting to figure it out. That is not what I pressed. I pressed the F tilt. He's just staying grounded and fucking. Throwing shit the whole time. Is this how you're supposed? This is why people don't like fighting banjo. <laughs> He's playing it so different than the other players. He's just like, kind of not doing anything. It's really throwing me off. He doesn't actually do things. He just punishes. And then when I do things, he just blocks it and grabs me. I think I got grabbed like 30 times that match. It's just because I'm impatient and I haven't gotten up to take a break in a long time. It's all good. Uh, time to just hunker down and just go the full seven minutes. It requires just more patience than I have in my bones, to be honest. Alright, 
We're back on Hollow Bastion. Well, he's the one who chose to play the matchup. He doesn't have to do anything. <laughs> he picked the character. Oh, that was a good trick. Nice. Does not fall for dash attack, I will say that. New counterplay unlocked. I forgot about that. Mashed it twice, okay. Yeah. I learned. Thank you. That stage helped me a lot, though, I feel like. Thank you, the Wise Owl. No, I don't think so. I think... Uh, I just play... I think the stock... Again, I talked about this before when I've grinded this matchup. The stock lead matters a lot. Like, whoever has the stock lead has control in this matchup, it feels like. So, it's, you really only have to play slow for the first stock. And then, whoever gets the kill first kind of gets a lot of momentum. 75, 85. Fuck Too fast. Fuck. That's the one thing I couldn't get hit by, and I jumped. Back air is so fucking good. Mm. 
always a bait for me to dash attack with him, I'm learning. Don't die right away again, Will. <laughs> He's mashing them. <laughs> okay. He w he decided that Wonder Wing was the option there. Yeah, he was like, "All right, GG, <laughs> GG on this one." And now you guys see why it's important to grind matchups. What have we been doing? Every time we ran into a good banjo, a matchup I didn't know, we stuck around, and it paid off. I learned how to actually play this one pretty slow. Right, he's mixing it up and going aggro now, which I like. I'm okay with that. This is scary. to avoid that, but it hit me because I was tall. Seventy-eight to eighty-five. Yeah, I A landed. Watch out. I gotta stop doing that. It's, a, it's always a bait every single time. Oh no! Not like this, Leon. Yay, my A-Land came out. I could have fared and it would have worked. You guys told me it was greedy last time, but it was correct there, it would have hit. Damn, I should have should have gone for it. Least greedy Wonderwing enjoyer. <laughs> Alright, he left. We might switch to Bowser now. We'll see. He's the last person on quick play. So it's very possible. But maybe not. It's kind of funny how we can just auto match up with each other at this hour. Also, it's kind of nice that we can get the different stages, right? When I'm playing against top players, even if he's not going his main. He's going K rule now. <laughs> Alright, get ready to change the title. 
if I queue with him again. This is hilarious. Damn, did I just catch that Pokeball three times? It's not him this time. Oh, dang. It was a good run. It was really fun, actually. We are supposed to session, me and him, DK vs Bowser. It looked like he wanted to go his other characters, though. Maybe his Bowser is too high of a GSP. Possible. I felt very well prepared for that. Shoutouts to- I would never actually think that I would say this, but shoutouts to the Banjo players in my stream. Because of you guys, I was able to make that happen. Oh god, that was good. Oh, it's lower? Okay. Oh, the crouching. Yes, the crouching is good against Sephiroth. Oh god, it's gonna hurt. Oh yeah, I can't PDK him here, I don't know why I keep looking at it. Hmm. I'm so bad. Honestly, though, oh, we're doing all right. What the fuck, it's so laggy, I could have punished that, but the game is like, uncontrollably laggy at this moment. Alright, I'm gonna leave, actually. It's too laggy. I don't know if you guys could see the stutter. It's not just because I lost. I took plenty of L's against other players, but when it's lagging like that, I have to leave. N no. I've taken other losses without it being like, really annoying. Stutter. I'm not gonna play on that. Pink DK? Sure. Alright, I guess we're going back to the, uh... Looking for... Challengers... On Elite Smash. Honestly, yeah. I'll probably have to go back and change the title of this, in case you guys ever want to go back. And watch the VOD, because we had some pretty cool, um, pretty cool matches on this stream tonight. Hope you guys enjoyed. Looking for a challenge. Okay, that's actually what it's supposed to say. Let's fix that. I don't know if there's anybody left, but... Whew. That was fun. Yeah, that's fine for the title. So, appreciate it. And shout out to Leon for the games. <laughs> uh oh. Okay, here's the ultimate faint with punish matchup. Let's just get a giant punch first.
please don't do that one. Okay. Nah, that's good. Seems like there's only these kinds of players online right now, <laughs> other than Leon. We're living. That's fine. Okay. I'm definitely leaving after this. No offense <laughs> to Zelda's. Maybe I should stay. I'm actually bad at this matchup. But I think, specifically, Zelda is broken online. Not only that, but I'm like, I can't even, like, tech. I air dodged. I pressed it. I promise you. He's gonna live. Time I ran in. So not fun to fight against. Wow. It takes so much discipline, I want you guys to know. I don't even know how to punish her, because everything seems risky. I'm like scared to try and punish. You have to play that pretty boring to win. I want to leave anyway because it's Zelda on FD and I know if I rematch we're going to get FD again, but I do need matchup practice. Playing against all these banjos has taught me- oh, they won it done. Thank you. Playing against all these banjos has taught me uh, Patience is a virtue, which even if I don't have it, I can learn it, at least. <laughs> I can apply it. Imagine if DK could do this to you, as one of his moves, he could carry the barrel and just like throw it down at you. We were talking about that. DK should have a move like that. I had to be. I would have lost if I did anything else. <laughs> Every time I ran in, I was getting punished. Alright, let's see what we're up against. Oh, Ganon for the first time all night. You actually have to be just as patient low-key against this character. Because Ganon destroys you. If you get too close. Gonna be a lot of footsies here. See? See what happened? Because I dash attacked. I got impatient.
I wonder if this is uh, the best Ganon, or one of the best Ganons again. Raycom. It's K. His tag is K. It might be Raycom. Yeah, he's playing like it's Raycom. Raycom plays just like this, and I lost to him last time I played him. Oh, I fucked up. Wow. Yep, I could tell it's Raycom. We're on FD too, so I can't kill him with a grab, which makes the matchup like doable for Ganon. Even though it's a huge part of this matchup. God, it's so strong. He's just so ready for those. I'm going for a ride. I might be dead. That was badly spaced. It was supposed to be a short hop. Oh, I must kill Oh, I got him. Oh, Raycom is so fucking good, dude. The game's not stuttering this time. Remember the last time I fought him? The last time I fought him, I tried to do ledge drop giant punch, and it lag spiked hard as he was charging giant uh, F smash, and like it ate my B press, and he just did a free forward smash because I wasn't mashing B. And then I tried to go off stage against him, and it lagged. Luckily, the connection seems stable this time. So this is one of the best Ganon players out there. He's been a Ganon veteran for a really long time. And it went off stage. I'm getting too greedy. He knows how to recover. No fucking way. He's hurt box shifting my shit. He's not falling for the down bees. I gotta stop doing them.
Dude, he's so good. No other guy would even dream of being able to reverse edge guard me there. He got the fucking Titman reverse edge guard. <laughs> Sour spot up here. <laughs> Who does that? That being said, that's a scary as fuck stage against <clears throat> Ganon. I'm not fighting Ganon on Smashville on purpose. I'll tell you that much. We need space against Ganon. Alright. He usually leaves after a best of three, so let's see what happens here. 84 to 100. It's just not worth missing against him, like missing the ledge trap. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to edge guard him here. I'm never sure against him, because he's pushing Ganon to like the limits. Yep. 84 to 100, stop forgetting Will. What was that remor re that momentum switch? Oh my god. Dude, he's just doing shit I've never seen before. Yes. I will stay. He might leave, but I will stay. I hope he doesn't leave. This is like the best Ganon at this matchup that I've ever played. Oh, he's staying, he's staying. Going back to FD, the unwinnable. I will learn the matchup here, it's okay. Yeah, it doesn't work against DK, luckily. Luckily we have that going for us. Yeah, Dryan Punch is it's so clutch in this matchup.
completely unnecessary swag recovery. Wow, nice trade. I'm not even sure where that was. Up here? I did that weird miss input again, but it worked. <laughs> because like, I'm reacting to falling off the stage and then trying to do up B. So what I actually pressed there was up B when I fell off the stage. Yet with cargo throw, it makes you do cargo up throw when you press up and B. Thank God it does something. Look, watch, if I press up and B, it still does a toss. I don't know if you guys knew, I didn't even know that. <laughs> it was totally unintentional. I guess we're grinding versus Raycom now. 81 to 100. I've never gotten a PDK on this man. I'm getting a little bit more brave and going for grabs though now. Look at that. You have to be brave against Ganon, you can't be scared. He actually f preys on your fear. That's kind of how he works. He wouldn't win otherwise. You have to play confident. Probably one of the most violent movies ever, but it's it's hype as fuck. Yo, what's up, mom? I hit the bottom of the stage. I got too anxious for it. Too greedy. He knows if he gets grabbed, he's dead. The lag's kicking in. Right, we gotta kill him with something other than a grab. Because if I tried it, I, there's no way I was gonna execute there. Dude, tonight's stream is fucking hype. I want you guys to know. We're running into crazy players at like ridiculous hours. <laughs> I don't have to tell you. You're seeing it here. You fought me in one of Mewtwo King's Frame Perfect series online tournaments? Yeah, that's like probably the only one I ever entered. And they, they had like Castle Siege legal. I beat uh, I beat Scat at that tournament. He went snake against me and I took him to Castle Siege. And I don't think he's ever played on it before in his life. <laughs> it was great. It was very troll of me. Look at that up there. I didn't realize how good that was. Yeah, that's it. And I feel bad because I don't know if Scat even entered tournaments ever again after <laughs> Ultimate. <laughs> like, he had never entered them, period. Or like for a long time. And then after that, like, I don't know if he entered tournaments for a while. 
I'm not gonna say I'm personally responsible, but probably didn't help. Holy shit. Unfortunately, Ganon's smashes are just way too goddamn slow. Nice. That's so good. Nice mix. That's not what I wanted. Yeah, DK's backer is such a bane of Ganon's existence. Nice. It's just not really worth going for grabs. His aerials from ledge are insane, I will say. Yeah, he's <laughs> just like showing me the back air, the back air, the back air. What do you guys think about this matchup? I think most people agree that DK wins. I don't know if it's more than plus one, though. I used to think it was worse than that but Raycom is kind of making me change my mind a little bit because this character is scary. <clears throat> PS2, let's go. 79 to 100, big window boys. Just something I say all the time. So if you guys didn't understand the title of my Ridley short, now you get it. Now you do. See, if you miss the dare, you get you get punished by a nair every time. So strong randomly at five percent. It just scales really well. He's platform camping, which is really smart. Coming down with me, buddy. He got me with some fucking jank. I don't know what that was. <laughs> Double reverse sour spot up air suicide? Like, what was that? You guys ever seen that shit? I've never seen it.
It's just not worth it. Maybe offline I could hit that. Fuck, it lagged for a second. Oh my god. So fucking tough. Dude, I got cheesed at zero by something other than Ganon down air. It was like drop really low, like double up air pressure. And I got hit by a sour spot up air. It stole my jump when I was at zero. But luckily I knew if I mashed my up B there, he would he would die. It's like, don't go off stage against Ganon? Like, was he edgeguarding me? I don't even know what happened there. How did that situation even arise? Uh, I guess I wasn't looking at the screen enough. Because I got hit by that. Just an ordinary dude. Thank you. I appreciate the power up. I'm gonna need it against this Ganon. Yeah, I'm dead. Why is he always going back that way? He just, he understood that that stock was for naught. Whoa, where, whoa, what, what, what? What? Where did my double jump go? That was so weird, dude. I don't agree. Okay, so I've learned that aerial hand slap does not work against this dude. Every single time I try to do it, I get punished. In between Nair hits 1 and 2. God damn. It's so hard to win on FD against Ganon for some reason. Alright, I need to mix up. I need to switch up the music here. We gotta put the DK music back on. I'm not I'm not playing at ease right now. Thank you, Justin Ordinary Dude. <laughs> Thank you. I've hit some punches, just not in these few matches here. Nice attack cancel, Will. Uh, it's just me missing stuff. He's dealing with the same input delay I am, so I can't really, like, talk about the input delay. <clears throat> but it's, it is what's making me miss my tanks.
is pouring outside, I want you guys to know. God damn it. Because I whiffed punch. It's not worth it. Oh, I just stood there. And now I'm gonna take a billion. Uh oh, he pressed the button. <sighs> These are stressful ass matches, even though it's DK versus Ganon. Why am I not dash attacking? Because he's baiting it. Like, literally, he's waiting for a dash attack. Like, you're right, I could be finding times to do it. But if he's spacing up air and neutral air perfectly in neutral, I literally can't punish him. And if I try to, I'll get grabbed and I'll take a billion damage. As he's shown to be able to do off of a grab at low percent. Also, he's hanging out in the corner so that I literally can't. That's fine. He's hanging out in the corner so that I can't dash attack him. Thank god. Wait, where's my jump? Again? I'm like, okay, I'm gonna stop looking at the chat because every time I look at the chat, I lose my double jump randomly. <laughs> I don't know how it's happening. Alright, he got janked. I'm winning, so actually, it doesn't matter if I'm hitting him with dash attacks or not. How about that one? I'm respected. We're respecting each other's space. That's why I'm not over committing. Oh god. Also, the connection is input delayed, so my spacing... What the fuck? That is not what I... I as I said, I'm holding down and pressing A, and it did forward, th forward throw. This game looks fast-paced, but when you watch YouTube, it looks more fast-paced? I have no idea what you're talking about. It's, it's playing at a different resolution, though. That was so weird, bro. How did my car- I've never had a cargo down throw become a cargo forward throw before. Alright. I can't sleep on Raycom though. I actually can't talk to the chat while I'm playing against Ganondorf for once. I will say that. I will do my best in between matches, but... Every time I dash attack, when I think I have an opening, it hasn't worked. <laughs> okay, he should be dead here. Yeah. Legit, he's just playing neutral better than any Ganon ever. That, that's why I can't really dash attack him. He'd have to make a commitment, like a dash attack, or like a tilt missing. He's not doing that. So... That makes grounded down B like really the only safe, like really safe neutral tool I have. Nice. I'm in trouble.
It's supposed to be possible to down air that, but I promise you it's very difficult against him. I'm trying so hard, dude. That sucked. If I pressed it a third time, it would have worked. Yeah. And I can't go co too close to the ledge, otherwise he'll cheese me. Yay, it actually worked for once. Can we ground a DKO him? 96 to 100, okay, that's actually important. Hurt box shift. I can't tech. Or rather, I tried to A land and I couldn't on this. Is that gonna kill me? Yeah, it is. There is a severe thunderstorm outside, so if my stream goes down randomly, you guys know why. It hasn't thunderstormed in a while. Yeah, the dash attack is no good. It normally is. But it, it's no good against Raycom's Ganon, so I'm just- I, I'm not gonna use it. <laughs> I'm gonna stick to my safe stuff. Every time I've pressed dash attack, I've gotten punished. It has to be a whiff punish in this matchup, because he knows if he gets dash attacked, he dies. Like, he gets grabbed into a combo, or he gets back air combo. Every time I look away from the screen, he gets a dash attack in the beginning. What the fuck? <laughs> Too hard to hit down airs on an input delay. It's not even worth it. Please get my jump back, I did. What? He makes that? If he gets me there? Are you serious? Oh my god. Like, I, again, like I said, seeing things I've never seen before. How many times have we fought on FD? That is my job, but you know what? It's fucking legitimate because I fucking hate this stage so much. It allows him to just do this strategy uncontested. Still do it. 96 to 100. It lags right there. Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I wish I was making it up. Are you serious, bro? Are you seeing what? I'm trying not to get tilted. It's like at situations where I would lose if I actually miss input during that lag spike. Again, it's thunderstorming, so la literally this time, the lag is probably me. So I, again, I can't complain. But still, I get tilted by fucking lag spikes, man. The lag is funny because I almost lose, and it's during his disadvantage. <sighs> Three, two, All right, 81 to 100. That was actually just really safe. Did 
Thank God I can survive that. Bro, I hit the dash attack and the game stops. What's going on? Alright, he's dead though. getting bad. Every time I dash attack, I die. It's just not worth making a commitment against Ganon. That was a Nair fast fall. That was an A land. I'm pressing the buttons, I promise you. You can't get away from that unless you like jump double jump. Maybe I have to roll back. Okay, he just sealed his fate there. Yeah. <sighs> you need to sleep but you're stuck in DK Will. Quick play hypnosis? Listen. That is a thing. It's pink DK because someone asked me go to, to go pink DK and then I I guess I just forgot to switch. Or I just happened to run into a good player, so I'm rematching for a while here. Anything but pink. Oh man, anything but FD, man. Shit. Uh, I guess we just played on a different stage last time, didn't we? I caught him off guard. He doesn't want to mash anything because he thought maybe I would go for like a stage bike, maybe. That is so good and it always catches me off guard. survived because I chased him. I think he was dead already. second I get close to him and I do something other than back air or grounded down B, I get fucked up. So I'm just gonna stick to what works and then do my mix-ups once I'm in advantage. I did F tilt and I got scooped. Game lagged. That's what I'm saying. This is the first time the lag actually killed me. <laughs> Do I have a K rule? Um, a little bit. I have a pocket K rule. Like, it's really hard not to get tilted when you're dying because of lag, but I'll still rematch him because I think our connection has always been this way between each other. So, 
again, he's experiencing it too. So I just have to hold that. Fucking FD though. It's torturous going here every time. Ganon is choose to win. Oh my god, I look away and I get hit by weak hit dash attack every single time. <laughs> Worth. Why does that work? Why does no other Ganon do that? I don't understand why that's working. My backers are unspaced, that's why that's happening. Okay. I understand now. That's why I'm getting punished. I don't know how to react to that online. I really don't. Please, please give us a different stage. Please, God, give me something other than FD. Please, God. I can't do it again. Because I would never play on it on purpose, Seth. Except Quick Play is forcing me to play on it over and over and over again. I ban it every time in tournament. DK needs platforms to win. Or he needs platforms to play his best, I should say. To have the best advantage state. Every single time that move hits me, bro. It's hit me every time so far. Damn, that sucks. I don't know how to block the fucking down B. Oh my god. Nice. Yeah, he is crazy. He absolutely is. That's the only time I'm allowed to dash attack, when he does that. That's the only time it's safe. I still don't understand why it's hitting me. I can't react to it. Play better if I stop complaining too, but it's so easy to get triggered by Gan online. I, honestly, I can't explain it any other way. Because the second hit saves him. Good to know. Oh, he could have killed me there. I totally expected spot dodge. I could have just raw punished him. Nice. The one time I decided to do directional air dodge to ledge. He decided to up tilt. Have I done that a single time? 
in our like 20 games. The one time I decided like, you know what, I'm just gonna mix it up. How do you not get tilted versus this character with input delay, dude? Ninety six to one hundred. That's it. We're just gonna kill him with a grab at ninety six to one hundred. If that's the case. I just have to play out of my mind. Oh, he was trying to cheese me there. Why am I close to him? you accuse i just wish i wasn't complaining so much i i know it's not entertaining to hear me john about losing to dk or, or to ganon or maybe it is but i just wish i didn't have to complain versus this character but raycom is forcing it out of me also this is the best is this not the best thing to do during a thunderstorm sit around Play some quick play at 6:30 a.m. <clears throat> that does 20 damage. I just still haven't blocked it a single time, guys. That's new. I guess I cheesed him in that case. Yes, I blocked it! Let's fucking go! Oh wait, grounded up, he's good. This is what the matchup is supposed to look like. It's supposed to happen every single match when we're not on FD. Hmm. And I'm so supposed to down B. It's boring, but it's the safest thing I got against Ganon. The same way that he just has Nair. for air dodging. Oh. Easier when I can actually kill him. It isn't that bad, King. Play it, play it in lag. And then tell me that. Again. We're both playing in the lag. So. Also, it's like, it's so weird that he's picking the perfect time to do wizard kick to the point where I've only just now been able to shield them. I don't know if it's because I'm just playing too close to him in neutral. 
he might just be catching my dash ins or something. He's going to wizard kick right now, and it's going to hit, because there's no way I'm going to see it coming. Couldn't even react to his, where he died there. Insane. I feel that, D-Guns. I feel the same way. I, I hate that I'm guilty of it, but I feel the same way. It's because, like, he is proclaimed as the worst character in the game, right? So if you lose to him, it's like, well, I'm just really bad then. <laughs> right? That is that what you're saying? I'm just really bad at the game. I'm gonna stop trying. It doesn't actually seem to be worth it against Ganon. Nice call out, dude. I was jumping back and his back air reached me. Maybe I did a neutral jump, I'm not sure. forward tilt, not an up tilt. <sighs> I don't understand why it keeps hitting. Ugh. I promise you, it's it's not that bad to fight Ganon here, King. It's not that bad. The evidence proves to the contrary, though. I've lost like every single match on FD, except with the exception of one where I like got a three stock somehow because I had momentum. Nice. The thing is that he's not approaching at all, and you're gonna tell me that, oh well then you don't approach, but I'm always losing, so I have to approach. <laughs> I would just love to not play there, and he would love to go anywhere that there are no platforms, I'm sure. But I, I have other stages, I just, I don't understand why we're not getting them. There we go. There. Finally. It seems I have to really put him in a situation where he has to recover from like the brink of death. got me. I didn't expect that. Nice. Go backwards. <clears throat> These matches don't make sense. You lost against your friends, Ganon, with characters that you play. It's so tilting. No, it, it is. It is. It is. I can say that because I have actually gone Ganon against other people, and I've three-stocked them, and then they didn't want to play anymore. So, and I don't even- I like pocket Ganon. <laughs> so, it's like, it's especially frustrating in that case, I think.
Right, you can't parry that. Stop trying. I guess what it really means is that my neutral sucks, right? Because I'm just losing neutral over and over again to Ganondorf on FD. I don't know what it, it's- I just have more confidence when there's platforms, I swear. That, that's what it is. Like, I didn't win on Town and City because of the platforms. I just played more confidently there. I don't know. I couldn't tell you. I don't even know why I won on town because it had nothing to do with the platforms. I just was winning more interactions because I wasn't playing scared as fuck like I do on FD. It's a psychological thing, I swear. Always spot dodges somehow. Nice. See? I like the the way he wins. No, but it's true. It's because I ban it. Like, why am I playing here? I shouldn't be playing here. I can't break free of that mindset. I I just I'm forced against my will. To play on FD, and there's nothing I can do about it, and it's absolutely the last stage that I would want to play on, and I don't know what to do- I don't know how to break free of that mindset. It's like, why would I ever play here? This stage is stupid. DK has one of the worst disadvantages, he needs platforms to get down. I mean, I'm getting fucked up, so I don't know about that. <laughs> it's good practice because I'm losing. It's not- I'm never gonna play Ganon on FD in my life, except for right now. And it's- he's at home there because it's his neutral pick, so it's like... It's honestly like playing on hard mode. For no reason. Hey look, I have a platform to protect myself now, so my neutral is going to be better, and my advantage state is going to be better. never done that on FD, I'm pretty sure. Like, I don't know. It's like I forget how to play. You say that, but then I'm fighting like against- I'm playing on my stream, so it's like, yeah, I'm getting better, but I'm also losing. And if I'm losing to like a good player, it makes me look like a scrub because I can't beat them on a stage they like to play on. Does that make sense? I have to play on the stage that I hate, and they get to play on the stage that they love. Like, that's the best way I can explain it. It's 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 damaging mentally as a streamer. Yeah. Why did that still hit me?
Like, I have to worry about how it how it looks if I'm losing to Ganondorf on FD over and over and over and over and over and over again. It is damaging, mentally. And also, I'm gonna stop discussing this with you so I can focus on the matches. Just so that, you know, I, I disagree, I agree with what you're saying, but at the same time, I wouldn't purposely... I'm just gonna stop talking about it, because it's... I'm a broken record at this point. And you didn't hear a word I said. So I'm, I'm literally just gonna stop talking about it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Alright, time to play more patient. 84 to 100. It's gonna be boring, but apparently it's what I have to do. missing like the freest shit ever. That was a back air by the way that I pressed. Nah, he's just really fucking good, bro. <laughs> There's a difference. Never seen that before either. What is the counterplay to that? I guess I have to mash double jump. Wow. Is there a reason I have never used forward air? It's really punishable. I do it after cargo up throw for uh, cargo up throw forward air. I think that's like a mix where like if I down if he does down B and I get hit by it and he does jump read, he could jump there, and then he conditioned me not to jump. So that he could do the side B right after. So you have to like mash jump there to avoid it. I didn't even know that that was a mix up. The problem is I keep getting caught by unreactable wizard kick online. And I'm pretty sure it's not unreactable. So I have to figure out why I'm getting hit by that. Not too sure yet. Need to stop talking, that's all. Nice. Like for the first time in my life I have to like really try hard against Ganon. Like ever. I just can't react to it, bro. I know shield is the option. I just can't fucking react to it. It's probably because I'm in the corner and I don't have that much space.
Nice punish, bro. Kill him with that on FD. You know what I mean? I need a win condition if he's just hanging out and not committing to anything. Like, that is definitely your best win condition against Ganondorf. Every other Ganon, I feel like I can edge guard for free and like open them up for free. Not, not Raycon. He's way way too safe in neutral. Alright, he dipped, he dipped. He definitely uh, took more of the matches there toward the end. You say that, but not online with an inconsistent connection. Because uh, Ganon's uh, up B got buffed, right? So you can't just wall jump tech and then hit him with anything. He has mix. He can drift back, he can directional air dodge in, he can up air, and he knows all the mix ups, trust me. I've tried it. So like doing like the tech where you get upbeat by Ganon on purpose, tech the wall and then jump nair, that's what I usually do. Like I do jump nair and he does directional air dodge past me and grab ledge. Which I was thinking about if I ever get that situation again, maybe I could like tech stage wait for the air dodge and then do like a like a down b spike or something you know but i never really got the opportunity also i think there's nobody left on quick play yeah it doesn't work actually it could work if i just did like jump nair like this but no because that's a commitment he would just get the ledge it's okay those were good games why don't I upbeat on stage one? Oh my god, it's KC. <laughs> the crazy banjo. KC, thank you for the practice. I was able to beat Leon's banjo because of you. You and, uh, Bacillus. This is actually more <laughs> more fun than what I was just happening. I can't even imagine how many times we just played on FD. That shit triggers me so much, dude. I swear. I don't have to tell you. You guys experienced it. Along with me. Final destination is FD. Ow. Also, the amount of times I couldn't tech were pretty frustrating. Hopefully, we should be able to tech a little bit more now. <laughs> yeah. Casey is very good at just calling out my shield approaches and grabbing me every single time. That sucks. I got really lucky there. He, he meant to drop off the platform. Opinion on Rob matchup? Uh... I used to think it's minus two, it might still be, but I'm leaning more towards minus one now. Like DK loses.
my jump didn't come out. That's kind of an issue with this controller, too, if I'm not, like, really careful. Oh, I guess that covers that. Kill them? Maybe. I um maybe. It still it would have done damage, but I have uh unfortunately I have an input error with this controller every once in a while where I guess I'm just inputting the jumps wrong. Like I can do it when we're not in a match, but in the match like I I only get him like nine out of ten times. You won't play much at this hour. That's, that's okay. Welcome back, Casey. Put it so clean to not mess it up. I'm gonna say it, Sora. I think Sora might be one of the worst. What's up, Wild Florida Man? Day two of asking me to play Deity. I don't know if I'd be able to play Deity, correct? I don't know if I have it in me to just Gordo the world. So good versus DK. Oh, I got the trip. See? It happened again, bro. I, 
think it's a mental thing. Because I know how to execute, and I just like drop it at like key moments. And that shouldn't happen, but it does. I think I actually was holding the Y button too long. It's some weird new misinput that started happening with me that has never happened before. Okay, it didn't matter. Holy shit, guys. How are there still so many people watching? There's no way that you're all still awake, right? Also, am I still pink DK or did I switch? I don't remember. I literally didn't switch. That's how you know I'm like, not autopiloting, but like, I'm not thinking. <laughs> like, why didn't I fucking switch? God. Okay. Okay, not true, I guess. I thought that was supposed to be true. Right, Nair is good in this matchup. I gotta use it more. shield was low. Casey is the best with fair that I've ever seen. You guys should have seen me the first time I was playing against Casey, how many times I got hit with fair. It felt like 20 times per match. See? never punish that because they're like perfectly spaced with cross-ups. That stuffs my down tilt. Let's go. Patience. I swear I spot dodge, bro. I swear. Look at him. Look at him go with the fucking forward airs. That was pretty cool. You should be dead. Was something stale? It had to be. I optimized too. That's so unfortunate. Okay, still got the kill. Alright, peace out, King. Okay, grounded up he actually is good against the down tilt. Under right. Who knew this was going to be the new matchup that I grind on my stream all the time? I certainly didn't know. <laughs> Oh, fucking god, the forward airs gotta stop. They gotta stop, dude. Hey, thank you. Thank you, Leo. I'm glad. I like to hear this. We need more DKs representing. I lived! Wow! Why did I live? I didn't react fast enough. Fuck. Nope, that's greedy. That's greedy too. Ooh, I got lucky.
Oh, I'm supposed to be F tilt. I'm just missing key inputs at key moments. I think that's a mental thing. I'm gonna try to just understand that it's on me. Like, if I'm pressing jab jab or up tilt instead of forward tilt, that's on me. It's nobody else. How do you turn around in the air on a regular Switch controller? You mean with DK? Uh, reverse charge cancel? Uh, you tap, you, when you're in the air, you tap behind you, let go, and then press B. Watch. Like, so when I'm in the air. Uh, the way I would practice it is, like, be grounded, and then, like, turn around on the ground with a with just like a turnaround in place and then press B and then that's the same input but you're doing it in the air that's all and the actual pivot doesn't happen until the charge happens as opposed to on the ground the pivot happens right away That up smash has fucking range. Yeah, hopefully that helps you. It should work. Look at that. The pressure with the fairs is fucking insane, man. I'm glad it's stale. It won't kill me now, but... I'm dead now. Yeah. That's a really good setup. You guys see why I was prepared for Banjo now? Before? <laughs> I'm doing roll and you're catching me in roll startup! And then there's also that. <laughs> Should have done something else. Okay, no Wonder Wings left. Okay, we got one. Are you serious? That's really upsetting. Nice tag. You're either gonna grab me? Percent was too high. Yes. Alright, we're still in it. 75 to 85. Come on, don't choke, bro. Too many fairs hitting me, man. It's just fair, fair, fair. I could have avoided that. I didn't know it would kill. I didn't even know it would hit. It lingers for a while. I guess it depends on how long you're traveling, right? So I have to wait until- I don't know the visual cue though. I guess I just have to wait for the yellow to go away. <laughs> just wait for the yellow to go away. There, we'll do that. This matchup's tough. You're playing it, again, so different from both Achilles and Leon though. The grenade is always a bait, don't pick it up. I remember now. He wants me to pick it up.
Fuck it. I'm just doing damage. I don't care about PDKOs anymore. Well, we're on PS2. I should care. But... Grabs are just way too good. Nice. Yeah, he knows I mash quick. We played too many times. Casey's banjo is fucking crazy. Why didn't that hit? Okay, let's get a giant punch. That's the strategy. Always get a giant punch. First. Also, once I get a hit, I have to stop holding forward against Mando. See, like that? That's not good. the approach. Miss my attacks. <laughs> Get put on ledge. Get fared. Oh man. Thank god I missed. Yep. Okay. Banjo has two mid-air jumps. Two mid-air jumps. Something I always seem to forget. Living. Nope. Your setups are too good. this disadvantage. It's so impossible. What the fuck am I supposed to do? It's so hard. He's gonna wonder when, when I least expect it. Ready? Yeah, we, we met on quick play, and then we uh, and then we went into an arena. <sighs> I'm getting so frustrated. I definitely should have made another T. I'm falling into the same trap I fell into last night. Also, thank you guys for the 440 viewers and the 171 Twitch subscribers. Many, many thanks. Did we like this stage against Banjo or no? Hmm. I just have to improve my disadvantage because that my disadvantage on that whole last stock was no good. Down be punishable by fair. Mental note. Got it.
Nice. Empty jump, punishable by Wonder Wing. Got it. Oh, so close. I'll take it, I'll take it. I'll take it. I didn't die. <laughs> Let's go. Good advantage state. Not really, because like Banjo's disadvantage is not really that bad. Like he just gets to take out his grenade again and pressure you. Ooh, the sour spot doesn't kill him. The strong hit does though. That's good to know. Yes. That's very important to take that kill there. Nice. See, I interacted with the grenade the way he wanted me to. And I took damage, and now I'm losing. No, I just don't- Ugh. The mix-up is either grab or fair from him, and I always get hit by one or the other, because he's calling me out correctly. Still living. Let's go Battlefield. He choked. He choked, he choked. This is my chance. Yeah, nothing I could do. I think he has three Wonder Wings. I should have killed him. What's up? You take so much, like, knowledge to know how to edge guard Banjo, I feel like. Okay, he's got four left. Yes! I feel like I need to call things out out loud, otherwise I'm gonna forget. YouTube just re recommended this to me and you got hooked. Let's go, bro. Let's go. Means I'm doing something right. How and when to use side B. You feel like you rely on it too much. Use it against... Uh, you have better things to do during tech chases. So like save it for when you know your opponent feels comfortable pressing a button. That's a single hit button. Not a multi-hit F smash. A single hit F smash. And also make sure the risk reward is like in your favor, meaning like you don't lose the game if you go for it. Like, do it. Uh, oh, sorry. There's actually something else really important that you should know. When DK is down in stocks, his berry keeps them buried longer with side B. Also, when he has rage, it keeps them buried longer, and that's like hidden knowledge that like nobody knows except for DK mains that labbed it. Yes. And I believe, I am I could be wrong in saying this, but I think the rage matters more than the stock differential. So actually your side B becomes more potent the more percent you have on you as DK. So that's really hard to remember because I just remembered it now. So just, but keep it in mind. It's a really potent comeback factor. Plus it has super armor, so. All right, now I have to make a big comeback. He needs it. I don't care what anybody says. DK needs everything. Alright.
Nice. I was a little slow on that, otherwise I think I could have gotten a kill. It's fine, I'll take a jab. No way. That move stuffs me, man. I needed that big time. All right, 78 to 85, right? Oh, he was just, yeah, just let it fly. I'm at death percent. Yep. I don't know what's happening. <laughs> I'm just taking damage. There's no chance I'm getting a grab because every time I dash forward, bro grabs me. Every single time. Or I get hit by that. I have to make like the hardest fucking read to get a grab. It's insane. Yeah, I should have punched. I don't know why I was second guessing it. Do I always stream YouTube and Twitch at the same time? Yes. Yes. And uh, also, my, all of my VODs, they're not public. Like, there's no live tab. <laughs> Score one for Kazooie. Is that a Kazooie down smash? Is that what that is? Is that K Kazooie putting in the work there? Oh wait, Kazooie is all the smash attacks. That's right. Um, yeah, all of the VODs are there. Like, if you go to my YouTube, I have playlists that have the VOD. Yeah, I have a VOD playlist. Like, you should be able to find it there, even if it's not, like, being push notifications to you. So you can always watch my VODs, like, whenever. Oh... You can't be down a stock and expect to win this match. I was talking about this. It's gonna be impossible now. I have to play out of my fucking mind. Once you're down a stock, this matchup is over. It sucks, but it's true. <laughs> He's living. That's fine, at least I didn't die. Okay, wait, 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 wait. hold on. Hold on. Fuck me. All I have to do is not get hit by that. Great equalizer. And I fucking dropped it. You see what I mean? Why am I dropping that in a key moment? There's no reason for it. I fucking land those every day in my life, guys. Why am I missing it there? Except I just don't want to win this match. I guess. It must be the answer. Hold on. Alright, don't get forward aired or wonder winged, please. It's 
it's fine. But now I'm at ledge again. Over and over again, I'm gonna get put at ledge. It's crazy. Oh my god, he's got two left. I want you to know I pressed YX while holding forward, right? But the egg hit me, so it did fall off the stage, buffer, double jump, directional air dodge forward. Which, I couldn't even have done that if I wanted to. But because the little egg hits you. How do I feel about homie socks? No, 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 no. Absolutely not. Don't do it. Don't do it. If I'm dying in the beginning because of SDs, that's on me. Don't, 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 don't. Yeah. <laughs> I appreciate it, though. That just is way faster than I'm ready for every time. Dude has a perfect fucking option selection every single time. It's crazy. Go over there. Yeah, I'm, I'm not respecting it enough. Okay. I need to keep more space. Let's go. 78 to 85. Let's stay center. How about that? So we can't die. I misinputted, or rather, I don't know what that was. It was supposed to be a tech chase. I fucked up. Let's go. I'm still not respecting that move, which is nutty. I should know by now. <laughs> it's so fast, what the fuck? He's like not fast, except for when he's dash attacking, then he's fast. Let's go. Guess I can parry that. Yeah, cargo up there forward air is really good. Um, it scales, it, it changes with rage, so just keep that in mind. It generally works at like certain percents. Like, it'll work at like 45, starting at 45 really consistently if you don't have any rage. But if you do have rage, you can get it on people at like 20. And it'll just rack up a ton of damage. Yes, I did not choke. Let's go. Yeah, cargo up the repair is great. It's probably one of the best ways to use forward air. <laughs> Banjo blew it. But you have to make sure when you're doing cargo up throw forward air that you're you're doing it like this. Um, look. Hold up. Hold up the whole time. If you don't do that and you... What I do is jump, double jump while holding up and then forward on the C-stick. If you don't hold up, the C-stick will force DK to drift in the air and it'll make you miss them. The thing about the forward air is that if you hold straight, just go straight up with it like that, it covers all the eye. It covers left, up, and right. So you don't want him to drift. It has a weird execution to it. You have to make sure you're doing that right. Otherwise, you'll get the weird drift on the C-stick, and if they di behind you, then you'll miss completely. You don't use smash stick? It doesn't matter. I mean, you have to use, you should use the C-stick to, to implement this, uh, to cover all the eyes, what I'm saying. If you don't, if you press forward in A, you will drift forward. No matter what. It's just like maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm do maybe I'm saying that wrong. Maybe you could do it without 
the C stick. But I think that's the easiest way if you're using jump, double jump. Okay, I gotta stop doing that. is the percent here I don't even know 74 to 85 okay. 40 is fucking broken What I recommend anyway is to always to use jump with one button and then use the jump with one of the right bu face buttons and then double jump with uh, the left one of the left trigger buttons. Depending on what control you're using, it might be you know something different. It might be L or ZL if you're using Pro. Okay, I need to focus because this will happen if I don't focus. Notice how I input that. Yes! Yeah, it's too hard to do unless you do it the way I explained. You'll never get it wrong if you do it the way I did it. Yes, every bit of damage is worth it. That's fine. Every bit of damage is worth it. I'm surprised he didn't die. I guess I had the pummel once. Cargo with their forward air is very niche, but it's it's really important because notice how it put him right into the percent where down tilt trip get grab or just you know whatever however you get the seven damage or whatever it is. This makes you want to boot up your switch. Word. All right, seventy-four to eighty-five. What's up? What's up? Welcome everyone. Where this is the stream where Donkey Kong fights Banjo over and over and over again. Add infinitum. Oh, the fucking read. Okay, the dash attack got me. Nice. 74 85. Can we do it? Damn, I don't know if I needed to optimize there. Good punish. Okay, he's in percent. Maybe. I don't know if it's worth going for though. Better just to hit him right now. That was an awfully good read on my part because I did it by accident. That was a kill option for me. Through the grenade, the arm, the uh, super armor is really good in this matchup. I haven't been using it enough. Oh, it lagged right in that moment. Nice, the anti air. Oh, 
I can't run away from it. It's too fast once he commits like that. I fucked up. I had a free back there. Didn't press anything. Nice punish. Fucking Pancho, man. How are you always going to make the right reads with forward air? I really don't get it. I could have up smashed, but I just wasn't prepared for that to hit you, to be honest. Oh, I got really lucky there. You were definitely calling out my tomahawk grab, and you were gonna side beat me in the face, and I think you accidentally side beat the wrong way. Is it worth labbing combos with grenade? Yeah. I don't know how you would do it without the training mod. You need another human being to help you, I think. How do you know when the down tilt's gonna trip? You don't. You have to react to it. It's a 40%-ish trip rate ish i say ish because there's some complicated math actually that goes along with it it's like either a 35 or a 40 percent chance based on scenarios so we'll just say 40 percent just round it to 40. That's impossible to tech online, I'm convinced. Fucking hard to avoid his bullshit in neutral, man. to crouch or shield or do something. That dash type always gets me. I don't know what to do against it. Shield, I guess? And then grab you? But I think you're gonna grab, so like that's why it works. Okay, I will take that to the bank. Thank you. Nice, good counter option. God, DK 
Donkey fucking needs that so bad in this matchup. Would I support a coconut gun? I'm more of a barrel believer. I'm more of a barrel believer. Like, because it, it fits better with DK's kit. Like, imagine you grab somebody and then cargo down throw them and they go pretty far off stage. You reset, go back on the stage, pick, take a barrel out, cargo, jump off the stage and throw the barrel at them. Like, it would just fit his kit way better, I think. It would be broken, but that's good. That's okay. DK is allowed to be broken. He's DK. He's the protagonist. I mean, so is Banjo Kazooie, to be honest. Nice. Yeah, I have no shot here. I have to go high. No fucking way these Wonder Wings are getting me. Banjo's life flashed before his eyes there. Fuck. And then he hit a forward air. My favorite move. Yes, the forty percent. I read that. I can't even run off the stage against that shit. <laughs> I respect it. I learned that between practicing between all the three banjos that I played recently. How to edge guard banjo successfully when he has to come from low like that. Does my K rule have. No, he has the DK64 voice. DK64. I think. Here's what I will m maybe say. I think I'm the best at the obscure, impossible, difficult matchups with DK. However, unfortunately, I don't have tournament experience versus relevant top tiers. Or on nearly enough online practice against relevant top tiers. And I'm not that good against them. I'm good at breaking down these fucking abysmally bad matchups. <laughs> like, to try to find... Like the matchups where DK only has like one answer to things, I like finding that answer. It's fun. It's hard as fuck, but it can be done. I tried to do an up B out of shield there. What? Did you hear that? It came out, it sound, I heard the sound effect twice. Is it just me? That was weird. He only pressed it once. Nice. Okay, now he has three left. Oh, 
I deserve this. Oh. I'm getting you tonight, Casey. I'm tired of this banjo. That was fucking sick. What the hell? Says he doesn't want to do a long session. <laughs> What's happening here? Looks like a long session to me. Probably won't go that long tonight, he says. Nice, catching my jumps out of shield every time. I don't know what to do about that dash tag still, for some reason. How do you always jump, jump read at the right time? Uh, because my grounded up bees are never the correct read. Getting you. This game is not going well. The neutral of the smash up is just so toxic. I just can't. It's just. Uh, when I'm losing, it is. It feels like it. It feels toxic when I'm losing. It's the same. <laughs> Pretty much. Do it seventy five to eighty five. Couple of hits and a giant punch. You said you'll do a couple more. <sighs> Sounds good. <laughs> I feel like every win I get against Banjo feels like I should pop off. Fucking shit is hard, man. Best of three? Okay, I know you're gonna turn up and do crazy fucking shit now, so let's go. Let's do it.
Nice. Oh, we can't. Oh my god, DK. No. That's not what I wanted. It's okay. It was all a plan. <laughs> it was not a plan. I am fighting the Banjo, the one that trained me up in this matchup along with Bikilis. I like the way that Battlefield plays out in that matchup if I go up a stock. No, that was bad. I was really impatient disadvantage. You have to have such a patient disadvantage in this matchup, I would say. Oh no, the pressure is on. Let's go. Oh, that does shield poke. Thank you for training me. Last night, if you guys must know, uh, KC won 2-1, and the games were very, very, very close, except the last one I think I might have gotten two stopped. You feel like I'd have a good Bowser? I do have a good Bowser. I can show you my Bowser, but I actually might end. I might end the stream there, because it is late, the storm is over. We played through the whole storm. If you guys enjoyed the stream, please subscribe. If you want to support further, I'm only monetized on Twitch right now. So you hop over to my Twitch. If anything, just follow my Twitch uh, to double the chance of getting notified when I go live. Also join my Discord um, here. Join my Discord as well. Did that really do Twitch and not Discord? Damn, I fucked that up, didn't I? Did I fuck up this command? Oh, I did. Let me fix that. There we go. 
This should be a Discord command. There we go. Um, every time I go live, I'll tag at everyone. At this point, I am streaming every night, so if you guys want to watch me, just show up. And I stream late, so. Ooh, good sessions today. Good games. Good games, everyone. Super, super fun. Where is the Discord? Here, exclamation point Discord. Sorry. For anyone that's interested. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Ooh. Your insomnia thanks you? Wait, what do you mean? I didn't put you to sleep. I kept you awake. That's not good. It could be- this could be dangerous. People get hooked into watching, but... Honestly, you guys get hooked into watching, I get hooked into playing. I played almost eight hours tonight. It was a lot of fun. <laughs> super, super fun matches, dude. Wow. But I think we're gonna call it there. Um, my Kazuya, my Kazuya. Okay, so the Kazuya and the Me Gunner are not in elite because they deserve to be in the Shadow Realm. They can stay there. So who did we play tonight? By the way, we found we found Leon on Quick Play. We fought his hero and his banjo, which was funny. Because those are the two characters that he goes other than Bowser. And then he tried to switch to K. Rool, but we didn't match up. I fought Raycom. We found KC again. We found Bikilis. We found a lot. Oh yes, KC, you missed it. Oh yes. I was ready. I was ready for the band. You better you better believe I was ready, dude. I sessioned with with Bikilis tonight for like two plus hours, and then I think that's why I was so fresh in the matchup. Still. Like I don't know, you know. When, when you and I played again, it felt like that matchup was running in through my veins. <laughs> and for whatever reason, when I'm fighting DK versus Banjo, I don't know if it's because people think DK shouldn't win it, or it's just like, I'm getting frustrated, and then I eventually overcome and adapt. I guess it's entertaining, because we always have a lot of viewers when I'm fighting Banjo, so I'm down for it. I think I'm learning stuff. Also, we fought Raycom's like impossibly difficult Ganondorf. It was, it was good times. Good times. Alright guys. That being said. I appreciate all of you. I don't know if anyone is still alive. If they are, they're psychotic like me. And uh, let's, let's give somebody a raid. Let's do it. I like to mix it up. Who we raid too. So, anybody else playing Smash? You guys are trying to chill with? Anybody else that would appreciate it? I'm sure anybody would appreciate a raid right now, so... But let's let's try to spread the love here. I know one person I can raid. You guys might have heard of him. I don't think I've ever raided him before. It's a Apollo... Apollo Kage. Playing his snake right now. How long was the stream? 7 hours and 50 minutes. Okay, we're gonna raid Apollo Kage. Um, if you guys want to tune in, I can send you the link to his Twitch in here. And uh, yeah, you guys can go hang out in there. But yeah, we're gonna send a raid, a DK crew raid on over to Apollo Kage. He is a yeah, nice little uh, eight hour shift there. Uh, again, I'm sure he's gonna appreciate it. We're gonna send him a bunch of viewers. Everyone say what's up to him. It's the first time I've ever raiding him. So if you have DK crew emotes, spam them. Uh, otherwise, <clears throat> appreciate everyone for chilling. It was a lot of fun. Peace out. Have a good night. I'll see you again tomorrow. Later.